Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to be continuing our Pokemon... Well, that's odd. Something's messing with my controls. Is it you, Steam? That's not how it's supposed to be at all. I don't even know how Steam would mess with that. All right. have to... Because normally... My controls should be, uh, walking around should be my, uh, my D-pad. Why is it the control stick? That's completely wrong, game. Now I need to find, uh, where is the buttons? It's under settings, I do believe, I think. It's here somewhere. I just need to find it. Because not all of these emulators have, like, everything under the same roof. All I'm looking for is, like, a game I'd like to remake my, uh, my controller settings. Guess it maybe is, uh, controllers. Set everything back. Doot, 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 doot. Alright, that's kind of funny. But I shall... There we go. And now things shall be back. Good. That was weird. I don't know why the... I don't know why the controller settings reset, especially because I'm fairly certain that the controller settings weren't set. When I first opened up this emulator. But oh well, either way, just detour aside, let us see if we can... Well, first things first. I'm going to... First we want to grab Luna, the Gardevoir, from the PC. Because we're going to try the Sutopolis Gym. That we last left off not doing just yet. Be gone, Dive. I did a little bit of grinding, but not as much. Because uh, it was just a little bit of a long thing. And I had other things to do. So, only like one or two levels were ganged during grinding. And I didn't like know of anywhere that was good grinding. So I just kind of did it outside on the clamp pearls and relicanths, I think they're called. They were decent but slow. Because the encounter rate down there is a atrocious. Oh, what's that? The Team Magma? They're, they're the encounter rate of wild Pokemon in their base? Just infinite, and apparently my Pokemon is invisible. Huh. But yeah, the encounter rate out there in the dive zone is just terrible. Almost makes me wish that there was an encounter rate increaser. Sutopolis City Pokemon Gym Leader Juan, the gym leader with the beauty of pure water. What? The door's closed. Well, shit. I guess we have... What other things are on the docket? The only other place that we haven't gone... Well, I think there's two places that we haven't gone yet. Just yet. And that's Evergrande City. Down there. And then... Over here is Pacifilog. I think that... Uh, Steven and Moss Deep said that Archie was doing something around somewhere? I will probably fly back to Archie. Not Archie. <laughs> we'll fly back to Steven, see if he'll repeat the, oh, I think Archie was doing thing in the trench at da-da-da. And if we can't find anything, we'll just go to Pacifilog Town and, like, who knows? Maybe Juan is there. I don't know. Also, there was, like, the... Cave of Origin or whatever that uh, we couldn't get into. Maybe that's connected. Uh, we went all over the town and there doesn't seem to be anything, so we're gonna fly back to uh, Moss Deep and see what Steven has to say then. Since we can't go into the gym. Excuse me. Steven, please be here. Steven, what you say? Apparently there's an underwater cavern between Moss Deep and Sutopolis. You know the one that Captain uh, Stern found in a submarine. 
I feel like half of the internet doesn't realize that strong woman means well-written woman and not girl who punches hard. But at the same time, a lot of people also think that any woman character in a leading role is evil. So who knows? The world's mad. Oh, just an odd out of nowhere statement that for on the Pokemon stream. But at the same time, Toff Bay Fong, amazing character. So really, you can make a well-written woman character that also hits hard. And let's see, we gotta have to bring the dive onto the team again. Because we gotta find the hidden trench between Moss Deep and Sutopolis. Which, if we look at the Pokenav, I'm going to assume is... Yeah, it's kind of vague. Between Moss Deep and Sutopolis. So maybe like anywhere around here? Maybe even further down. Anywhere. Kind of wish that it had it listed. That would have been nice. Super Water Trench. So I guess we'll maneuver just around Evergrande City. But at the same time, this is, like, darker. So I guess we'll wander around this section a bit. And we'll see what we can find. Because that is a vague descriptor. Between Sutopolis and Moss Deep. Hello, Tentacool. You're only level 7. Why do you even exist? Are you the Golden Goose? If I destroy you, do you give me $5 billion? Well, here's a diving spot, I guess. Let's go down every diving spot that we can, I suppose, with dive. Well, this does feel like a trench. We have nothing to worry about because there's no moss down here. Unless we can go deeper. Deeper, deeper, ever deeper. Okay, I'm just trying to understand, like, where the things are. What is the actual walls to this place? Because... It's just repeating darker tiles of the same tile. Why is it? And then... Okay, well, three heart scales now. We have three of them. I don't... I think there's like the move tutor guy, but I don't even know what he does. All I know is that a bunch of people are like, Oh gosh, hard and damn. How will I ever get all the heart scales I need for this man? And I don't even know what the guy does. Also, interesting, funky music for this underwater wherever the hell. <laughs> I also just realized something. Archie went out of his way to steal a new super submarine to come down here. Meanwhile, here I am on a Pokemon that knows dive. And all the guy had to do was get the HM. Well, I guess he also would have had to have beaten the... The gym leader, if we go by game logic. But he's supposed to be the leader of Team Aqua. Well, there's this... <laughs> I... Alright. Pokenav, where once was this? Well, I guess technically I found the entrance around here, but... This is definitely not between Moss Deep and Sutopolis. Was it meant to read between Evergrande and Sutopolis? I don't know. We found the thing. Let us save. We just magically went on and found it. And here I thought the moment after the gym was locked, I was just like, oh no, it'll be five billion years before we find it. Submariner so Explorer 1 is painted on the hull. It's a submarine Timaqua stole in Slateport. Timaqua must have gone ashore here. Well, then why is it down below? Will we see it when we arise? I'm still angry that I had to leave Luna behind. Seafloor cavern. It's not really seafloor if there's no water. And... Because there might be some double battles up ahead, so we'll keep this layout. 
and then we'll like shift them around to level up people. Poor Luna's gonna need like the experience share. All right, that's interesting. And that's also another thing that I had another reason why I had to leave Luna behind out of anybody, because everybody else knows is either my starter or an HM user. How many people fit into that submarine, I wonder? We don't need a kid around. You're home already. You're not even going to ask how I got here? How you used a submarine to get here and here I yet am? You'd think that you would say, wait a minute, how'd you get here? Was there a second submarine? Sir, a second submarine has entered the seafloor cavern. It is so disappointing that a level 36 Poochiana gives so little experience compared to a level 30 Relicanth. I want to go home. <laughs> uh, so that's why he told me to go home. He was projecting. He wanted to go home. Oh, there's a monster in here. There's a Pokemon monster. It's a Zubat. Why is there a Zubat at the bottom of the sea? <laughs> Under the sea. Under the sea! There's still Zubat here! There is no safety here! Fucking run! And I still- once again it has presented me with multiple diddly dog ways to go and I'm in loathed. That submarine, it's tiny inside! I'm sore all over! So what you're saying is, Raccoon didn't even have room in his pod. Hello, Carvana. I think you get annihilated by, uh, by lightning. I'm slowly relearning what dark type means in the grand universe of Pokemon. Be gone, Carvana. Good, it didn't hit him with rough skin. Losing makes me sore. Everything makes you sore, doesn't it? I wish they were like labeled optional path or not optional path. I just want to make sure. I don't even know which way is the proper way. There's so much way to go. Is it the way? Okay, I was just analyzing that to make sure I didn't, like, move things wrong in the coming puzzle. Let's see. I'm very confused of this layout already. Because the problem is, if I... Well, at the same time, Archie has a unique sprite, so... I shouldn't be that concerned. I should mostly just, like... Go about and not worry too much. And then if I see Archie standing before a giant petrified fish, I go the other way. Eh, yeah, run, because Zubat won't give much experience anyway. Let's see what's in this room. Why? I just want to find the secrets. Trainers to fight! Every way I go is just like, is this a safe way for training? And the world has decided no. Alright, so this is a very involved one. And now I can't leave. Well, I guess I have to go this way now. My hubris. Got to look for the super secret escape paths. I think we go here. Hmm. This peaceful music while we are at the end of the world. I might have to use... Uh, I should have gotten more repel, shouldn't I have? Why do you even exist? Well, 
Let's see. Because this goes down, which will just lead me back to where I began. Hmm. Ah, we go here. Maybe. Aha! Freedom! Bum 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 bum. Once again, you are not really worth using a Thunderbolt on. Alright. <laughs> Would you like to avoid them by doing a hard puzzle, or would you just like to fight them? I'd like to fight them. <laughs> How did you manage to get through without a submarine? What an impressive child. But it won't do to have you meddling about here, and I do want payback for what happened at the Weather Institute. I'm going to have to give you a little taste of pain. Resign yourself to it. For our dream to become real, we need the power of a Pokemon. But meddlers like you use the power of Pokemon to mess with us, even at a place like this. Life doesn't just work out the way you need it to. If this is a... It is an admin, I need to about face immediately because this is the right way to go. Ooh, a Sharpedo! We haven't run into one of you yet, I don't think. And now for the intimidation off, where everyone gets intimidated by the other side. As always, my night thing is better than your mighty Ina. Uh, kill him. And I guess just strength the mighty Ina. Bye bye, Sharpedo. If you had lived, I would be mildly impressed. And annoyed. But mostly impressed. Ah, oh, great! Now there's two of them! Insert mildly racist Star Wars uh, Episode 1 accent here. From the darkness comes the scary face. And then I guess we'll try to annihilate her last remaining Pokemon. So just that way, it's a two-on-one. Gotta use that strategy! I really should just be using Bite. Yes, I know, Bite's a dark... Uh, never mind, it's dead. Hilarious. Yeah, keep using Scary Face. That'll save you. If I lower your speed enough, that'll stop you from killing me. We're gonna use Bite just because I think the stab properties of dark the Dark-type move will do more damage than, like, the not effective, or, like, the normal moves. And a Golbat. You just have no luck with the Pokemon you're sending out, don't you? And once again, Thunderbolt. You actually attacked! Congratulations! You have graduated to death! You fool! You utter meringue! <laughs> Ouch! Gah! Give me your money! Give me all your money! And we'll swap you down for Nickel, because I don't think Nickel got all that much training. And we are going to book it out of here, because up there is inevitably where Archie is going to be. Because where uh, Admin is, uh, Main Man is too. Are you telling me that there's like no way to get back there? All right, so there is like a... Oh, the, the entrance. All right, that works for me. This works for me. <laughs> At least I think it's the entrance. It seems mirrored well enough. Level 30 Zubat, no one loves you. Be gone. We have, that's the wrong way. We would just lock ourselves in, I think. 
And now all the Zubats come out to play. They're like, surprise, you thought you were safe when you first came into this cave, but we're going to take your criticism of earlier going, oh no, there was no combat in the little, like, diving section, and we have to make up for that now. And now, we go through this again. We will go to the bottom one again. Just gotta beat all of the aqua grunts and stuff. So that we can get all of the experience. To hopefully then beat down the wand at Sutopolis. At least there is one nice thing. I think after this, we might not need dive anymore, and we can just fly everywhere. Unless we need to dive to get into Evergrande. Of which pain. I think if I push this down, we should be able to go through. I do like the... Like, the Team Aqua slash Team Magma music that plays. Well, I think this is gonna be it. Hmm. Let's see if we can make it... ...through. Need to explore all this cavern, and then we will move along. Oh, a gull bat! You're probably worth killing! Steel wing. Cause why not? We'll just use aerial ace now, I guess. Die. You know what'd be funny? Is if we get further in, there's just a random nurse joy who's just like, yep, I am the eternal underwater nurse joy here to heal your Pokemon. Don't question it. It's like the various spirits and gods that help, like, uh, the... What are they? Wait. We can go this way. But, like, the random spirits and gods that help Sun Wukong and Tripitaka on their journey to the west. Out of nowhere, random things have come to help you. It was actually them. God. The multiple gods. I do believe, where are you? I went too far down. Where's my hyper? Ah, hyper potion. I have lots of hyper potions. Because I had lots of money. And we'll go through this one first. How does that even work? I don't think it does. Gonna wait for him to turn. Turn back and now double fight! Who are you? Where did you come in from? Who are you? Where do you think you're going? Ah! Obviously the twins have come to ask me questions. You are bothersome and you shall die. Now the question is, who is more evil? I want to say the Carvana. Let's get rid of the Carvana. The Carvana is dead! Huzzah! And then you can bite the remaining man. For some reason, I continuously think that that won't work, and yet it does. Hey, it's used Steel Wing. It's there for a reason. Be gone, Zubat. On to hell with you. Lost it! I failed to win! And you didn't even have your questions answered. But if up there... None of this place makes sense. 
This place is magical! It is hell! You go out one way, you come out another, it is magical hell! And apparently I did, like, probably the hardest, like... Wait. I also just realized that. This place is a maze! Not amazing, just a maze! And if I'm fairly certain... Now we have to go down there because I frankly slightly remember oddities. I need to know what is your secrets of evil? None of this place makes sense. It is made by the devil. Looping all around again. Unless that. This place is a maze of evil! It is monstrous! It is nightmarish! It is primordial! Alright. So, we need to go to the right. The right, I believe, is the correct answer. I think. Because I think that place loops it back to itself. I don't even know. Well, let's go. And solve the puzzle again. It honestly wasn't that hard. Like, the, the Team Rocket Institute was harder. And then I think we come up here. And we do... I think it actually saved me from making a mistake. Thank you, level 18 Tentacool. I shall not murder you. Even though you're annoying to catch in Pokemon Legends Arceus. I think we come up here. There we go. I still don't understand what the, why that's there. That like... Ha, I don't even know. Well, let's talk to you. Ah, <laughs> you're so darn strong. It's terribly disappointing that you're not a Team Aqua member. You could have enjoyed the fabulous world our boss has promised as one of us. Your boss isn't Cyrus. You fool. Well, I guess let's go on. What is with all these strength puzzles? I guess they were like, oh no, we haven't had enough strength puzzles in this game. And I think, uh, let's see. I need to plan this out carefully. Because if I move this left one, then I can move the middle one? Hmm. Alright, because if I move this left one up... Because, yeah, if we move this left one up, then our next choice is to move the middle one up, move the right middle one right, and then that gives us access to uh, top left, well, the top right left one. But if we move that up, it'll be blocked by the middle one. Did I hear a Zubat just in the background music? Hmm. Wait. If I move the, like, two, like, bordering bottom ones up, I can move him to the left. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think this out, and my brain is boiling. I guess we can just... Because mm, a part of me wants to just try it to see... If... Hmm. 
Well, uh, I'm always just on the cusp of trying it. But then I stop myself. Maybe the answer is these? Then I can move you. Yeah, there we go. Then on my first try, just by agonizing it over eternally, mostly on the wrong solution, and then my brain goes, well, you're stupid, this is how you do it. And now we're in the smoky cavern. What are you, an electrode? No, it's a... Alright, we just found Earthquake. Alright. Earthquake would be a nice team move. If I had somebody to use it with, uh... Blah, blah, blah. With Nickel. Or I could just sacrifice a Pokemon for Earthquake. During double battles. Let's see. Is there anybody that can learn Earthquake on my team? Shane can. And the Abomination can as well. You are not a part of this team. Hmm. I almost want to give it to you. Let's, let's check Shane's moves. Because they are Leaf Blade, Bullet Seed, Screech, and Giga Drain. So I would probably get rid of Screech. I think I might just do it. I might just do it. Because then he would also have a ground type move to use against, I think, steel type, maybe? I don't know. Once again, I really need that cheat sheet. <laughs> oh, well, I, I hardly ever use Screech now. I mostly just go eternal super duper offense more than anything. Then I guess we're going to get rid of Screech and replace it with Earthquake for Annihilation. Sure, why not? Let's go crazy. Let's lose our minds just ever so slightly. This feels like it has an hidden item, but it doesn't. How dare you put that there like that. Monster designer. That feels like it would be a video game. Archie, where are you? You're missing from your standing in front of uh, the monster you adore and want to awaken. Hold it right there! How did you get behind me? <laughs> so it was you after all. Behold! See how beautiful it is. The sleeping form of the ancient Pokemon Kyogre. I have waited so long for this day to come. It surprises me how you've managed to chase me here. But that's all over now. For the realization of my dream, you must disappear now! Well, that's harsh. You're actually kind of reasonable the past few times we've, like, talked. I don't think we've ever fought you, though. I just noticed. I don't think we've ever fought Archie. And his mighty Ina is mightily fucking leveled. Oh, no. I might have to up my evasion. My speed fell, but I can double team! Try and glare meanly at the form that you can't even see. We'll do it one more time and we'll try to uh, lame him out, as it were. Alright, and that is all that I shall do. He is stuck on using Scary Face. Like Almighty Ina now. I do not know why. Every single Mighty Ina that we've run into from Team Aqua seems to be hooked on using Scary Face for some reason. Why would you use a Super Potion there? Oh yeah, it's not a Hyper Potion. That's odd. 
Interesting. Aha, you missed because you are a fool. Meanwhile, my bird is just chipping away at you. Not swagger! Well, that will raise my attack, but it will make my boy confused. <laughs> Break through the confusion! You can do it, Nickel! You fuck! Break through the confusion! Yes! You will- AGAIN! AGAIN THEY LIVE WITH ONE HP! This is hacks! This is cheats! This is- And it killed itself. Nickel is hurt, let's throw somebody else in. Gonna throw in Crobat? I'm gonna throw in Striker, I guess. Again! Again the game goes, they get one HP! God, if that ever happens to me, if I ever run into a Pokemon that knows Explosion or Self-Destruct or something, and they get taken down to one HP and then they explode, I'm going to be annoyed. Critical hit super effective, I think that was overkill. And then I guess we will send out Shang, Zoom, Nickel, Nightfang. Let's give Nightfang a shot. Worst comes to worst, we can always swap in Shane for Annihilation. And he is close to leveling up. So really, we could probably swap in anybody to... Oh, Jesus, that's not good. He has a... He is a higher level than, I think, any of my Pokemon. And you did swagger, you... Bitchin' whore! Break through the confusion! Rule the world and eat his soul! Fuck! Now I have to go and uh, use a heal. Hyper Potion. It's what you should really use, Archie. You are the leader of a criminal organization. And you don't... Oh, okay, you know what. <laughs> fuck you. Uh, Shane's gonna come to fuck your day. You're gonna come out and you're gonna do that. Nah, I ain't playing the healing game with you, Buster. I'm here to annihilate your fucking safe. And what does that even do? He fell for Tan. What does that do? The, does that mean he's gonna refuse to leave? Congratulations! You have annoyed me and now you are dead. Huzzah! Level up for Nightfang. Trying to learn Taunt? Well, we can fucking learn what Taunt does, I guess. Into using only attack moves. Why the fuck would I want that? Like, maybe against, like, some of them, but uh, that doesn't work for me. You have been annihilated. Stand down. What? I lost to a mere child like you! Yes, you did. You did indeed. <laughs> I commend ye. I must recognize that you are truly gifted. But I have this in my possession. With this red orb, I can make Kyogre. The red orb suddenly began shining by itself. Well, this is deja vu. And then it just left. What? I didn't do anything. Why did the red orb... Where did Kyoga go? It's a message from our members outside. Yes, what is it? It's raining heavily. Good. That should have happened. That is why we awakened Kyogre. To realize Team Aqua's vision of expanding the sea. What? It's raining far harder than we envisioned. You're in danger? That can't be. That's just not possible. Hold your position and monitor the situation. There's something wrong. The Red Orb is supposed to awaken and control Kyogre. But why? Why did Kyogre disappear? Why? What have you wrought? Archie, you've finally awakened the Kyogre, haven't you? What will happen to the world if this downpour continues for all eternity? The world's landmass will drown in the deepening sea. 
What? Don't get all high and mighty with me. Wasn't it you, Team Magma, that infuriated Groudon? So long as I have this red orb, I should have. Co I should be able to control Kyogre. I should be able to control it. We don't have time to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself. See if what you've wrought is the world we desired. Neon, come on. You have to get out of here too. Suddenly, Archie is the good guy. What happened? What is this wretched scene? Did I make a horrible mistake? I... I only wanted... Do you understand now, Archie? Do you finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to be? We have to hurry. We have to do something before the situation goes completely out of control. Neon, don't say anything. I know that I have no right to be critical of Archie, but the way things are now, I doubt that we humans will be capable of doing anything about it. But neither can we stand by and just watch helplessly. The responsibility for putting an end to this falls to Archie and me. This defies belief. Both super ancient Pokemon... Their power is unbelievable. They've upset the balance of nature. And then they just ran off. Neon, what's happening? This is terrible. After the scorching heat wave ended, this deluge began. Deluge? If this doesn't stop all of Hoenn, you know, the whole world will drown. This huge rain cloud is spreading from above Sutopolis. What in the world is taking place there? There's no point arguing here. Sutopolis might provide answers. Neon, I don't know what you intend to do, but don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to Sutopolis. Well, if he flew, we can fly. If flying is good enough for him, well, first I'm going to heal my Pokemon just in case, because uh, you never know, the game might go, haha, -ha, instant fight if we fly there. So we're going to quickly go and heal all our Pokemon, and now we're going to fly. Sure, means that some of them are going to be a bit low. Excuse me? A bit low, but... Mm -hmm. Let's go to Sutopolis! Oh, a cutscene! We're actually moving the camera! Well, that's not good. Neat! An actual in-game cutscene! Are they going to clash? Not exactly what I meant, but sure. They're just fighting. How many games are you aware of that start off in an ice level? Other than the Crash Wrath of Cortex, no game comes to mind. I do not know. That starts in an ice level. I mean, I guess technically Red Dead Redemption 2? But that's more snow, but like, eh, kind of cold, wintry. These giant Pokemon suddenly appeared in the middle of the city, and I've never seen them before. Why are they smashing into each other like that? Why can't they be friends, those Pokemon? I don't know. You don't know their history. Maybe they're exes. The weather was clear this morning, but all of a sudden dark clouds brewed up, rain started falling in sheets, and there was thunder and lightning too. The weather just went completely wild. Is all this because of those Pokemon? <laughs> Moreover, how many games start with a lava level? That one is harder. I do not know of any off the top of my head. Yeah, none really jump out, don't they? I wonder if anybody's here gonna mention the outside. Everyone has taken refuge and won't come out of their homes. Even I would rather not venture outside. Cool, they actually acknowledge it. Ah, uh, Sutopolis' gym leader really is a lovely, lovably admirable, but what also means I have many rivals for his attention. Okay, I know that they, they don't want to, like, give stop you from learning double-edge, but come on. Aren't Pokemon our friends? Why are they doing wild? I just completely missed that. Why are they going wild this way? Because they are mad. Wow, this is wicked! Child, you are witch witnessing, witnessing an apocalypse. When two Pokemon that gigantic are fighting that savagely, there's not much we can do. I feel bad for all the people who choose Charmander as their starter Pokemon in red and blue. I've always been a... Uh, uh, my brain is completely just flattened. 
Squirtle. I've always been a Squirtle person myself. G Groudon, please! Stop what you're doing! I know the extent of your power now. If you keep going, all Hoenn, not just Zootopolis, will be utterly destroyed! Kyogre, what's wrong? Look over here! It's the Red Orb! Calm down, Kyogre! It's no good. It's not responding at all! Uh, okay. Uh, oh, hey, Steven! Steven, my boy! I just get the sense somehow that the two Pokemon aren't angry. I think they probably can't control their own power. If they couldn't control their own power, then where was Groudon this entire time? Go for it, red Pokemon! Don't back off, blue Pokemon! Aye, do you know the names of those Pokemon fighting over there? You are rooting for the apocalypse, asshole. Oh no, Sutopolis City will get wrecked! Meanwhile, <laughs> that guy is just like, yeah, fight them! Fight them, yeah! There's an ancient legend that claims the land and sea were shaped by a colossal battle between Pokemon. Well, I'm seeing what that happened with my very own eyes. Oh, I never expected to witness to something this huge! A big Pokemon is fighting with another big Pokemon. Please, someone make them stop! Specifically when the first boss in that game is a rock type. Yep. Something that... Which kind of is hilarious as the... In Pokemon Yellow, they're, they're meant to capitalize off of Pikachu and, like, the anime and everything. They give you Pikachu as your first starter, and then immediately send you to fight Brock, and you don't get the anime power-up of just being able to shock Rock so much that it kills it. Instead, they, uh, like, I think moved some moves around and may let you catch a Pokemon earlier that can learn, like, a fighting-type move, but, like, children won't know that strategy, Pokemon Yellow. Those Pokemon fighting. Groudon and Kyogre. The two super ancient Pokemon were awakened from a long sleep, and now they're smashing each other with their uncontrollable energy. Neon, you being here now, I'll take to mean that you're prepared to become involved in this crisis. Well, then there's someone that I'd like you to meet. Come with me, please. Are we going to the Cave of Origin? Like, what ancient Pokemon are we going to resurrect? That will fight them. Listen, Neon. Does seeing Groudon and Kyogre make you think Pokemon are to be feared? But that's not true. Pokemon are really more. Why am I asking you this? You already know. Well, technically they're gods. They're literal forces of nature here. Mr. Cave of Origin Man, how you be? It <laughs> just moves aside. We don't get to talk to him. Okay, here we are. Inside here, you'll find someone named Wallace. I think you have what's needed to help him. Help him? What do you mean, help him? Somebody named Wallace. <laughs> have you ever noticed that when a certain Pokemon is on the box cover, it's not the best Pokemon? Yeah, most of the time. Well, m m I don't know. Ish, ish. Usually, box legendaries are usually just there to be, like, a, a catch thing. It's like, here's a thing that's related. Because, like, in the first time, the first generation, literally all the starters got their own box. There was Pokemon Red and Green in Japan, then Blue in America. And, uh, no, even Japan got Blue as, like, a, a third edition of sorts until Pokemon Yellow came out. Blue was, like, an updated version of Pokemon in Japan. And then they made the American Blue and Red, which then was followed by Pokemon Yellow, which had Pikachu on the front. Then in the second generation, it was Ho-Oh and Lugia on the boxes with Suicune for Crystal. And this one, it was Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza for the boxes. Most of the time, at least nowadays, the box legendaries are just like, here's the, like, legendary that's meant to incorporate into the story. So it's not really about strength, it's more about just relevance, I suppose. Well, okay, Cave of Origin. I didn't know we were going to fight Pokemon in the Cave of Origin. We need to find Wallace. Oh, hey, it's a Sableye! I think this might be a good place to grind, maybe. 
but let's uh, kill first. Why do you have detect? You are only here to waste my time. How dare you waste my time? Why can you detect two times in a row? I want to annihilate you. Quit spamming detect, you asshole! I will try the next best thing. I shall throw an Ultra Ball. You'll never see this. Uh, I had to double check to make sure I don't accidentally use my Master Ball. <laughs> Go, Master Ball! Catch that Sableye! How dare you. Heck, the only Pokemon game that has a useful Pokemon in the box is the Let's Go games. Alright, losing the Lax instance wouldn't be the worst thing. Did it just get... Uh, no, it actually gets thrown away, it seems. That is evil! But yeah, the Lax instance wasn't really the most important thing in the world. But now I must annihilate you for what you've done. You already did that, asshole. For a moment, my brain went, wait, did I put uh, God of War back on the team? I don't think I did. Why? You are literally dead. Fuck off. And I say that not only because you're a ghost type, but also because you have one fucking health, which happened again, game! Game, what the fuck is wrong with you? He has no health. Get in the goddamn ball! Do you want me to paralyze him too, game? Is that what you want? I guess it wants me to paralyze him too. This makes no sense. You better not use knockoff, you fucking asshole. Why are you being a m asshole game? Don't use it, you, you bitch. Now become paralyzed. But I think I got distracted. But yeah, with the Let's Go games, that was mostly, once again, their relevance to the gimmick more than anything. With the, uh, the it's basically being a spiritual successor in a way to Pokemon Yellow. It's just like, Pokemon Yellow, if we split them up. You get to be Gary Oak. You get to have Eevee as your starter. Sableye, the asshole Pokemon. It digs branching holes and caves using its sharp claws in search of food, raw gems. A Sableye lurks in darkness and is seen only rarely. You don't get a name. You lost my lax incense, which... Unless it gets returned post-battle, that would make sense. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Unless it unless it got thrown in here weirdly. Let's quickly go through. See incense, but nope, there's not seem to be lax incense in here. So it's literally like, haha, you have fought a random Pokemon. You shall now lose this item. That's quite dumb game. That is a dumb mechanic. If you lose an item to knock off, it should at least be a purely only... Like, not even that. Like, there is no reason why knock off should just destroy items like that. Unless it gets knocked off the ground and becomes a hidden item, which it does not. Yo, Wallace. Wallman. I've come to help you. Why are you in this cave all alone? I want someone to have the ring, 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 phone call, phone call be their ringtone unironically. I don't know if I remember that. Or know what that is. Not off the top of my head. Memory be flimsy. Ah, so you are Neon. I've heard tales of your exploits. My name is Wallace. I was once the gym leader of Sutopolis, but something came up. So now I've entrusted my mentor Juan with the gym's operation. It's from the Pokemon anime. I figured, but I just can't remember the, like, audio in my mind at all. Groudon and Kyogre, the two Pokemon wreaking havoc here, are considered to be super ancient Pokemon. But there aren't just two super ancient Pokemon. There is one other somewhere. Somewhere, there is a super ancient Pokemon named Rayquaza. It's said that it was Rayquaza that becalmed the two combatants in the distant past. But even I have no clues as to Rayquaza's whereabouts. Neon, do you perhaps know where Rayquaza is now? I don't know. 
I heard it. Probably Sky Pillar was the last time I heard it. Hmm. I think Sky Pillar? The Sky Pillar? That's it! It must be the Sky Pillar! There's not a moment to lose. We'll head to the Sky Pillar right away! I don't know where the Sky Pillar is, Wallace! I don't know where it is, Wallace! Oh well, would you look at that? It's another asshole. This place isn't worth grinding, not if it steals my items. Be gone, you little whore. But now I need to make my way to the diddly D sky pillar, and I don't know where that is. The sky pillar. I've never been there. I wonder where it could be. A person with a strong will and superior talent. A trainer who has known and knowledge and experience of many kinds of Pokemon. If such a person were to appear, I was instructed by Wallace to lead that trainer to this cave. And yet you didn't lead me here. You're a failure. You're a fool. Die. Maybe I can, like, talk to Archie and see if they know where the Sky Pillar is. I wonder if there's a non-conventional game over if you get in the way of their fighting. Nope, they just continue. Kyogre, what's wrong? Look, I have the red orb. I don't know where Sky Pillar is. What'd be nice? I know somebody mentioned something about Sky Pillar. And really, the only reason I said Sky Pillar was because... I know that nobody said anything about the Cave of Origin or Mount Pyre and uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon mentioned had Sky Pillar be the place. Oh, wait, did it get it back after the fight? Oh, so you do get it back after a fight. Good, good. Well, I guess I have to go back to Moss Deep and wander around this area looking for Sky Pillar. I think. Hmm. You know what? Just to not waste my time, I'm going to quickly search. I found Archie on my own. Let's see. Sky Pala. Hmm. All right, it says Route 131. Let us see, Route 131. Aha! So we need to go to Pacifilog, eh? We've never been to Pacifilog just yet. I wonder if everybody has unique things. Nope, not everybody has... Unique things. The world is going to hell, and everyone's just acting like it's not different at all. Yeah, that tracks. <laughs> Go check your whispers really quick. The phone call's there. I'll check afterwards. Because right now, the world is in danger. <laughs> While the world is going to hell in a handbasket, remember to stay hydrated. Even if it is raining ridiculously, like, we could probably fight them and they'd be like, Yes, we're just guarding this frickin' grove in the middle of a maelstrom doom call. Because they are lunatics. We do not care about lunatics. They are monsters. But we will fight you, I guess. Do you have a rival whom you just hate to lose against? Uh, no, because I've never lost against my rival. <laughs> I win. I am a winner. Uh, this is gonna, like, t gonna be like taking candy from a baby. Ah, uh, great. <laughs> it is raining and we are surfing to Pacifilog Town. Why isn't Juan out trying to do anything? He's the gym leader. The guy who, like... Step down from g being gym leader due to reasons is doing more than one. 
the criminal organization leaders who caused all this are doing more than one. Rain continues to fall. But what if it didn't? Have you ever thought about that world? Uh, I hate losing. I guess that makes me your rival now. Are you going to ask for my Pokénav? No, good. I guess I'll fight you on my way. We've been working so hard to mount a Pokémon League challenge. We can't afford to lose now. What do you mean? Have you not lost at all your entire time? Even I've lost. Fucking... Watson? The fact that Misty is in Let's Go Games is protected in, by women in bikinis says a lot. <laughs> I had to process that for a moment. It was just like, what is protected by... Uh, wim is women bikinis like an organization? <laughs> but no, like literally, she has her own like army of swimming women that protect her. Which is amusing. Another aerial ace. Kill this Azumaru. I think this is the first one we've seen. Don't blow fucking bubbles at Nickel. How dare you. Be gone, you fat, tanky motherfucker. How dare you deal a lot of damage. You evolved from Meryl. A worthless little f piece of garbage into the sea with you. And I'll take all of your experience for myself. Pokemon Dark Souls. How would that work? Oh, how could this happen? Because I win. I am the win -rar. Not you. And now I forgot to... We are going back to Moss Deep. I am getting Luna so Luna can start leveling up again. But we came all this way and we'll, I will compromise and we will use a rappel to get back to where we are. Yes. Now they do explain that Missy's goal is to swim in the ocean, but the fact that her gym is filled with nothing but women proves that she has a relationship with them. Not really. I mean, if, ever, if everyone was in a relationship with all the guardians of their gym, the less said about Brock's gym, the better. And plus, especially that technically, like in the anime, those women technically become her sisters, at least I think. Technically, the gyms of the anime don't function like they do in the games, but still, the extra minions of the gym became her sisters. Other gyms don't really have minions in the anime. Although other times they do, like, have weird little challenges like Koga. Go through my ninja house, and then you get to fight me. Maybe all his minions became the house. It's like Monster House, but it's a ninja house. Why are you calling it as hell on earth? Maniac! Hello, I would just like to call to, to let you know. I'm trying to catch Pokemon while the apocalypse is happening. You know how it is. It's just like, now you, not only are you wasting your time on Earth, you're wasting mine. I have to get to Sky Pillar to save the world. You your sunny day? What? Oh, because it's alternating between super sunny and super rainy. I get it. And or there's like different areas. Some areas are super sunny. Super, others are super rainy. I kind of wish that once you defeat Brock and Mist, you can choose one of them to be your partner in duel battles. That would be cool in like a, a like, yeah, like since Generation 3 had the fire red leaf green, that would be kind of cool. But at the same time, I feel like the earlier Pokemon games weren't really built to have a long-term human partner. Then again, it would be interesting if you could just, like, call them up and be like, Hey, I'm, I need a Pokemon, like, dual battle team right now. And they'll be, like, on their way over. Teleport in or fly in. That would actually be kind of neat. 
That's a very cool idea. It would also tie in with the anime more. That would be a cool thing, actually, if you had a long-term human companion that wasn't a rival, but was actually a journeying partner with you. That's a cool idea for a Pokemon game! This is... Why is there just a random rock here? How dare you not have anything on you? But yeah, that would be super cool. I would be down for a Pokemon game to do that. <laughs> I just really like Misty, okay? To be fair, Misty was, like, not only one of the first gym battles that you have, but is also very prominent in the anime. And from then on just became a prominent character overall, so it's a very understandable. Say, hey, 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 let's get on with it! It's the apocalypse! Why do you want to have a Pokemon fight? Your Sphiel will die, will drown, except I guess it's too buoyant. How dare you be too buoyant for death! Now I just had a thought. I wonder what would have happened if they tried to integrate, like, the canonical red into the Pokemon anime in any way. Like, would they have gone... Oh, because it's a dark type. I, I forgot. It doesn't really look like a dark type, okay, game? But, like, would they have gone... It was Ash from the future who became this badass. Or would it be... Or would they have played it like... This is Ash's, like, long-lost and ran-away brother? It's just like, if they tried to include the canonical... Red from the games... The guy who decided to stand on a giant mountain waiting for a worthy opponent. It would just be interesting to see what the anime would have done with him. Was Misty technically the first female companion in anime? Most definitely not, because anime happened for a long time before Pokemon. So there was doubtless, I think even like Inuyasha. Well, no, that one's not really accurate because even though Inuyasha is the name of the anime and he is a character in the anime, the anime actually focuses more on, like, the the woman who got isekai'd into the past where Japanese demons still existed. But yeah, there were definitely female, like, companions, right hands, second-in-commands characters in the far-off ancient anime past before Pokemon anime became a thing. This is my first triathlon! You are doing a triathlon in the middle of the apocalypse?! If Red really is Ash from the future, then Red wouldn't win any Pokemon tournament. Hey, come on, he did that at the end. And technically, he was meant to have won the Indigo League Championship before they decided to extend the anime into being all about Ash. Because if I remember correctly, they were originally going to have it be where Ash's journey would end with him fighting against uh, Gary at the Indigo League, and he would win. And then the second season, based off of, or like, what, however the anime was structured, the next segment of the anime would follow a new character, probably being inspired by the second generation games. And then kind of true to that form, eventually, well... Ash did win a tournament, and now we're moving on to new protagonists. I'm in the middle of a triathlon, but sure, why don't we battle? <laughs> and uh, YouTube chat asks, what's a blind playthrough? Playing through while having next to no real idea about what's hap- like, no prior- like, no prior knowledge of what's going to happen in the game. So it's just like going in blind. Triathlete Allison. Once again, somebody who's like doing a triathlon in the middle of the apocalypse. And then <laughs> having a Pokemon battle in the middle of the apocalypse. Was Red even in the anime? I do not believe so at all. I know that they bring Red in different forms in different media. Like... I think there was something to do with Alola that had Red and Gary show up in something. That might have just been Pokemon Masters, though. So I do not know. 
But overall, well, actually, wait. There was Pokemon Origins, I do believe, which was the kind of, sort of anime miniseries. Which was basically, hey, what if we take uh, Pokemon, the original Generation 1 games, and we just, like, go all the way through, follow the original Red and the original Gary. You ever seen that clip or gif of a... A Squirtle just choking the life out of a Charmander with the bite move, and it's just played just pretty dark. That came from Pokemon Origins. What's the hurry? Let's take it slow and easy. It's the apocalypse! Surfing isn't as easy as it seems, isn't that right? But yeah, I do not think that Red was in the actual anime TV series. Although that would actually be, like, a potentially a neat, like, alternate universe crossover thing. <laughs> because especially with the Delta episode, and even far before that, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series, alternate universes are definitely a thing. So why not bring Red in and people are like, hey, it's Ash Ketchum. And he's just like, no, my name is Red. Gary falls through and maybe people kind of treat him jokingly. He's just like, ha ha, it's Gary. And expect him to be one way. But no, it's just like, no, I'm Gary Oak. Where's Red? You mean Ash? No, Red. <laughs> oh my, I wanted to relax a little more. You instigated the fight. Psychopath people. <laughs> Although now my brain went, what if Red in the anime was actually just Richie? That's a cursed thought. What a surprise. I didn't expect to see a trainer out in the sea. I think we should battle. How do you mean you didn't expect to see a trainer in the sea? There's like two trainers, like five feet back. And you just have a Gyarados. It's better than a magic carp, but still. One Gyarados. It probably isn't even an alpha. Die. Hopefully the next Pokemon game allows you to fully customize your clothes. I think they kind of did that in some. I don't really recall. I know, well, it also depends what you mean by fully customized, because some people might just be like, ah, having a selection of clothing items for certain slots is fully customized, but who knows. I, like, uh, I'm not too sure about, like, X and Y and up for character customization. I am not learned in those games, but in, like, Legends Arceus, you kind of get to customize your clothes. You can buy other clothes and... Mix and match them some, some are sets. Although, it would be neat if you could, like, in some way, like, visually customize your Pokemon to a degree. But that would also require a lot of work for a lot of Pokemon, or e cutting back the decks a lot, so who knows. Like, actually putting on and taking off clothes and not just your hat. Yeah, that was in Pokemon Legends Arceus at least a bit. Just another reason why Pokemon Legends Arceus is great. It, in the deep blue sea, my shattered blue heart finds comfort among the waves. Floating on the open sea like this, it's peaceful. You're not going to be peaceful in a moment, friend. You're going to die. Oh, I think that tentacle is going to be annihilated. <laughs> annihilated that tentacruel. Turn it into some tentagruel. It didn't even give me much experience, that golding. How dare. This guy, tentacruel, you, Sfeel. What is wrong with you? Be gone, tentacruel. And what next? Another Tentacruel? Ah, Whalmer. Why is Whalmer like a... 
a single tier evolution in this game. It's utterly maddening. Bye bye, Whalmer. Play Pokemon Crystal Clear. It's a ROM hack that has a lot of customization options, like which region you want to play on, which gyms, even if a character you can play is even as Misty. That's definitely interesting. Something to look into as a, maybe a one-off, like, just saying, hey, let's look at the novelty of this ROM hack. But for some reason, most ROM hacks don't, or like, uh, Pokemon fan games don't really interest me too, too much. Which I guess is a bit hypocritical coming from me, the man who says, I want to eventually make a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Hisui fan game that stars Emmett because of pain. The people of Pacific Log are a peaceful bunch. They never get angry. That goes for me too. You're gonna get angry when I kick your ass, aren't you? If you can beat me, I'll give you some great information. Is that a euphemism? Sfeel and star you. They must be annihilated. You can even play as a rocket grunt. Finally, my dream come true. It would still be a really cool idea if there was a Pokemon Team Rocket video game. For God's sakes, they, the Pokemon Twitter account became Team Rocket this month. So why not make a Pokemon Team Rocket game? You could even make the player characters tutelage under Jesse and James and have it be a big old comedy of errors for you. Or hell, they could even do a... Uh, wait, Pokemon has a Twitter? Yeah, the Pokemon company. All brands have a Twitter. And this month they, uh... <laughs> like, I think they had some Team Rocket merch... And they, like, posted a bunch of GIFs, like that funny aha. I think also from Pokemon Origins, like, a bunch of Team Rocket grunts walking in funny ways, trying to look intimidating. It's treated as, like, haha, the, the, the Team Rocket hacked the Pokemon Twitter. And <laughs> it's kind of amusing. I think they had a bunch of polls asking tw the Twitter followers, like, who's the best, like, minion Pokemon? And it had, like, Ekans, Rattata, and other, like, low-level Pokemon that grunts commonly use. It's quite amusing. Why do men love bathing suits so much? They all ogle me. I hate to say it, but it ain't. Hey, look, everybody. We found Misty. Oh, hey, a Sea King. We haven't seen one of you yet. Oh, wait, no, we have, because I remember specifically mentioning your horn. But yeah, I just... It would be interesting if there was a Pokemon, like, Team Rocket game. It would just be interesting. While you are out at sea, leveling up, remember to stay hydrated. What does Min ogling your bikini have to do with being out of your depth and... Okay, there's just a bunch of people waiting to be murdered. The sea. The sea, the sea. The sea as far as these eyes can see. I'm sick and tired of the sea. Then why are you out here, dude? Why are you out at sea if you don't want... If you don't like the sea? Are you a lunatic? Are you trying to increase your blood pressure? What's wrong? Real douche move for the talking Pokemon and Let's Go games not be a Meowth. Ha! <laughs> That's true. The games just go suffer. Poor Meowth. Yeah, I always get passed up, don't I? I wonder why they decided to make Team Rocket have a talking Meowth in the first place for the anime. <laughs> Although now I'm reminded of one of my favorite Pokemon, uh, like, Team Rocket moments. Eh, don't worry, you <laughs> pretty blue head about it. It's Lavender! Ah, <laughs> uh, James. Lovely, lovely James. Ha! 
Hi, sweetie. Wade, we should battle you and I. I don't trust you. You must be annihilated. Do they explain why Meowth is the only talking Pokemon and not Pikachu, you know, Ash's partner? The only, like, thing I remember is that Meowth learned to speak human to impress, like, another Meowth. Like a girl Meowth that was all fancy and prim and proper and stuff. And then, like, got laughed at and he... Uh, was forever stuck talking human, I guess. I don't really remember too much about it. You're tough in spite of the way you look! So you were, you were, like, <laughs> trying to beat me that way, you jerk? Ah, there's an easy mark. I'm gonna annihilate him. Well, then you not got annihilated, you rancid motherfucker. And, and plus, at the same time, it would be kind of, uh, at least in hindsight, in hindsight, it would be weird if Pikachu talked. For God's sakes, wasn't that like a thing? There was a Pokemon Redux movie that was like, hey, what if we reimagine the beginning of Ash's journey? And it was a somewhat recent movie, all things considered, at least in like, I'd forget, like the past 10 years, maybe? And like, at the end, Pikachu actually did like, kind of speak to Ash, I think. It was kind of meant to be like, oh no, we are dying and we are at peace. <laughs> it was... Actually, I think Ash does die in that movie, <laughs> come to think of it! <laughs> Mirage Island. It must become visible and invisible depending on the weather conditions that makes mirages appear. Or is it really appearing and disappearing? I can't see Mirage Island today. Good for you. <laughs> Do you have to check that guy every 24 hours if you want to go to Mirage Island? Jesus. The sea between Pacifilog and Slayport has a fast-running tide. If you decide to surf, you should end up swept away somewhere else. Is that a Pokédex? Did you get the to meet a lot of po different Pokémon? I wish I was like you. Then move away. Check out this horsey. It's the horsey that I caught yesterday to celebrate my birthday. Oh, I can't can see that you want it. After all, it's priceless. I'll tell you what. I might be willing to trade it for a bagum. No, oh, thank you. You are a weird little man. Since Ash never ages, is it safe to say that Misty never ages either? Because I feel for all those people who ship Misty and Jesse together. <laughs> I think it's mostly a thing that nobody ages, really. Or they age in, like, small ways, depending on who they are. Like, they might have a super young character age a little bit to be like, Ah, oh, they have grown. But uh, most everybody else hasn't really aged at all. Ahem! I'm the Pokemon fan club's most important person! The chairman's younger brother! Why are you the most important person if you're not even the chairman? I'm here enjoying my vacation with my Pokemon, yes indeed! Ah, your Pokemon! It clearly likes you very much! A Pokemon that adoring and adorable deserves a team like this, no? And what is it? Like you it returns, powers, and hands. If it doesn't like you, frustration's power goes up. Yeesh. I'm going to make my Pokemon hate me so that my frustration is the most powerful move of all. See, isn't it neat? These houses are on water. I was born here. So you must have only sea legs. The Sky Pillar? Oh, you must be in that tall, tall tower a little further out. If you ask me, I wouldn't climb it. It's too scary to get up that high. Life at sea level in Pacific Log, that suits me fine. And for some reason, suddenly my brain just went, Hey, remember all the people who, that ship Ash in Latios, or Latias, because of that one movie. I know that Team Rocket's supposed to be the comic relief, but is there a single time where they win? Maybe? I know that there are times where they help Ash, so... And there are also probably times where they help, like, sabotage other Team Rocket members who are trying to show them up, so kind of, but I don't think that... And then I think there was also a time where they were trying to make Team Rocket more serious in the anime, so maybe they won one there, but I do not know of a specific one off the top of my head. What color is your trainer card? Mine's copper. Pacific Log Town floats on the top of a colony of Corsola. If I told you that, would you believe me? No. The ancestors of the people in Pacifilog were said to have been born on boats and then lived and died aboard them. I understand that they lived that way because they were searching for something. Oh no, it's the beginnings of Team Aqua. 
I don't intend to be going nowhere fast in the sticks like this forever. You watch me, I'll get out of the city and become a huge hit. Seriously, I'm going to cause a huge explosion of popularity. If you ever heard that, I'll happily teach explosion to your Pokemon. No, thank you. I don't want my Pokemon to fucking die. Are you crazy? Okay, what is with the anime having both Ash and James cross-dress? James is worse because he, yeah, he used the inflatable breasts that one time. And I think that, I forget, was that episode, like, banned? I think it might have been. I forget. Back then, they were wonky on what they did or did not ban. People were saying they saw a Pokemon flying high above Hoenn. Is it flying around all the time? Doesn't it need to rest somewhere? There are some beings in this world that sleep while they glide. A sky Pokemon! A sky Pokemon! Where did you come from? Yes. Yes, town? I've never heard of a place like that. What even, what even is your existence, little man? What is your existence and why? In the Hoenn region, there are three Pokemon that represent the power of rock, ice, and steel. Each of them is said to hide away deep inside caves. That's the story I heard when I was just a little kid. So Regirock, Registeel, Regie Ice, I know them. Six dots open three doors. Grandpa used to say that, but I don't know what it meant. I think I know what you mean. Ish. Alright. Now, the Sky Pillar should be somewhere around here. Time to go look. If I had to pick one of the female protagonists, I would choose Hilda. I have not gotten to her game yet, I do not believe. I do not know. Where did you guys come from, psychopaths? Did you guys just come out of nowhere? What's wrong with you? Once again, the world is going to hell. Then again, it seems rather tame in Pacifolog Town, so who knows? Maybe they just haven't noticed. Let's see, do we need to move anybody around? We already leveled up recently, so I'll throw you in. Ahoy, indeed! Right now I'm trying to find Sky Pillar! I'm doing my best to get with my sis! And now you're going to die together with your sis. At least you do look similar! Very good work, Pokemon team. Making two sprites that can be worked both individually and together. Rose is a close second, although the skirt is really throwing me off. I don't think I've gotten to her game either. There are a lot of Pokemon games that I've not gotten to. But I'll get to them eventually. Because my energy for Pokemon games, it has returned. How dare you, Double Hedge. You're supposed to be dead. Supposed to be double dead. Kill that Azumarill for existing. And now we have defeated them. Your best will never be good enough, Billy. Your best is worthless to me. Are you going to stream the third Ace Attorney game soon? Probably soon. After I beat uh, Pokemon Mystery... Uh, not, not Mystery Dungeon, idiot. After I beat Pokemon Emerald, I'll probably slot in the next Ace Attorney game. As I then try to jump between it and... Uh, Breath of the Wild more, because for some reason, Pokemon Emerald just absorbed my life, and I love it to death. Especially, we also need to return to the Ace Attorney games, because the Apollo Justice Trilogy is gonna come out next year! Huzzah! We need to prepare for that! And at least in the... We can try, like, the great Ace Attorney games and Ace Attorney investigations, maybe, in the meantime. In between like beating the Ace Attorney Trilogy and then waiting for the Apollo Trilogy. At least that'll make it really easy for me to get like 90% of the games. And after I went through all the trouble of ensuring that I'd be able to play them all. Hello, Wallace. Oh my, I'm terribly sorry. In my haste, I didn't notice that I'd left you behind. How do you not notice that? This is a long way away from Sutopolis. I've opened the locked door of the Sky Pillar. Now, Neon, let's be on our way. It's an earthquake! There's not a moment to waste. We've got to hurry! And you didn't leave me behind this time. Good for you. Hmm, the situation is getting worse. This isn't good. 
The weather distortion is spreading even here. Neon, Rayquaza should be farther up from here. I'm worried about Sutopolis. I've got to go back. Everything is in your hands now. Don't fail us. Wait, what? They're releasing a new Ace Attorney game? And I'm just... N it's technically not a new Ace Attorney game. It is a collection of, like, the next set of games. So, like, the Apollo Justice and then the two games after that. So, even the 3D game. Oh, well, I think... Actually, I think it's, like, two 3D games. So, yeah, they're re releasing, like, the quote-unquote Apollo Justice trilogy. This was revealed in the Capcom Presents thing. Oh, hey, a Bennett! How oh, cool! At least I have Surf that I can hit you with. But yeah, the Apollo Justice uh, trilogy, which will cover the next three games that came out for the Ace Attorney franchise, should come out early next year, they said. I'm glad the new series did well enough to warrant remaking the Apollo games. It is super cool. I'm super happy. Capcom, just make a new Ace Attorney game. It's been seven years. Hopefully. I guess we'll just have to believe you because you've, you're being evil. You've been at and we don't want evil things to happen too much. But hopefully with the success that Capcom has gotten over recent years... Like, everybody is, like, really enjoying the base experience of, uh, like, Street Fighter VI. And there's just a bunch of other cool stuff going on with Capcom these days. That hopefully Capcom will keep on going. And will be like, hell yeah, we're gonna do it this now. Make it, I don't care about the label game. But, like, yeah, hopefully they might make a new Ace Attorney game. Or maybe an Ace Attorney inspired game. For God's sakes, they, they re-released Ghost what was it ghost trick i think so yeah they re-released ghost trick of all games <laughs> and the create original creator of that ds game ghost trick spent two weeks learning the presentation speech in english purely to be like please play the game this time buy it this time <laughs> And then he, like, amusingly ended his presentation with, like, I spent two weeks learning this. Please, next time, let us speak in Japanese. <laughs> he seems like an amusing man. God damn you, Confuse Ray. Nobody loves you. But it'll be very interesting because this will be the first time, like, uh, well, the first time, compared to, like, the initial Ace Attorney trilogy, this next one, Apollo Trilogy, is going to have some games that have 3D models. And it'll be just very interesting to see how a 3DS game and its models will, like, come on through. It just seems really interesting. And I cannot wait. It's like, when I first heard about it, I'm like, wow, I, I picked the right time to start playing the Ace Attorney games, I guess. Because now I can, like, super duper easily get the next set of games. I'll still have to kind of work for, work at getting, like, uh, being able to stream, like, the, uh, what was it? The Layton crossover with Ace Attorney. Wasn't Chronicles technically new? The, yeah, the, uh... I'm trying to think. Because... There's the Ace Attorney Trilogy, and then there's the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, I suppose. Okay, in Ghost Trick, you go through the deceased memories to a four minutes before their death. Don't ask why the amount of time specifically. I don't get it either. Probably because in Japanese, I think there's a thing about four being related to death as a number. And permit their deaths. Don't ask, it's confusing. Doesn't seem that confusing to me. But yeah, with the... But I think the yeah, Great Ace Attorney Chronicles might be new. I don't really know. I do think that the Ace Attorney trilogy itself isn't that new. I think it might have had a few ports before coming to the PC. Yeah, at least to America, definitely. Now all we need is like... Uh... Frickin' Ace Attorney, like, uh, investigations, and we'll have all the games. 
I don't even know what Rayquaza is. I'm gonna use Striker. Hey, Rayquaza! Shit's fucked! Oh, that's cool. You look cool. The awakened Rayquaza flew off. And I didn't even need an orb! Can I fly away? Do I have to walk through the entire place again? I can fly, motherfucker! <laughs> Goodbye! Another cutscene time. And here we are again, them fighting in the rain. No, Chronicles isn't a new game because it was released in Japan only for years before getting a Switch port in English. If that's the case, Investigation 2 would be a new game. Would be for America. And here's the boy. Here's Rayquaza coming down from the sky like an... <laughs> I don't know why that is immensely amusing looking. Just the way he's coming down. And now he looks epic. You two, knock it the fuck off. And they're like, fine, dad. <laughs> Groudon just backing away. Kyogre sinking into the sea. And then he flies away again. And then the world was saved! Also, Rayquaza, it's a legendary Pokemon. It's the first boss in Smash Bros. Brawl. I forgot that- no, it's not the first boss in Smash Bros. Brawl. That honor goes to Piranha Pete. He's the first real boss. What was that? What was that green Pokemon? Oh, it was you who brought that flying Pokemon here? Well, aren't you amazing? When that third Pokemon flew down, I feared the worst. Wow, that was wicked. See, now that makes sense because you're not calling for the end of the world. But yeah, I'm trying to think how many bosses there are in Brawl. It's hard to remember sometimes. A pretty Pokemon came down from the sky. There's an ancient legend. Well, are you going to say it again? Well, I saw what happened my own. So I never expected to witness something this huge. Zootopolis <laughs> City didn't get wrecked. I was wondering which one would win, the red one or the blue one. But oh no, it's the green one that settles things. Talk about a huge turn of events. Why did you want the world to fight? Dude. I can't even talk to you while I'm on there. How dare. That flying Pokemon came down from the sky and stopped the rampaging. I wonder why they chose to use Rayquaza as a boss and brawl, come to think of it. Why specifically him? Why do they just go, and yeah, this Pokemon guy will do the fight. Yes, PD is the t first technical boss, but the first boss you fight outside the first area, and the Pokemon is ridiculously easy to fight. Yeah, because I don't really remember any of the bosses being that difficult, except for Taboo. Taboo was kind of a jerk. Especially on higher difficulties. Kyogre and Groudon. I need to remember my voice for you. Kyogre and Groudon both flew off to who knows nowhere. The weather in Hoenn has returned to its natural state. <laughs> Maybe what we were trying to do was something small, even meaningless to Pokemon. So the super ancient Pokemon weren't only Groudon and Kyogre. After all fruitless uh, scheming and frantic efforts, that one Pokemon's simple action puts everything right. As if nothing had happened. <laughs> and then they just teleport away. Tabu has that stupid, stupid screen clearing move. Yep. It looks like both Maxi and Archie have gone away somewhere. Perhaps they've gone to Mount Pyre to return those orbs. Neon, my eyes didn't deceive me. Thanks to your help, Sutopolis. Now all of Hoenn was saved. On behalf of the people, I thank you. This is a gift from me. Please accept it. HM7. What's HM7? Whirlpool? Waterfall? Waterfall! If you have the Orang Badge, a Pokemon that has learned the HM move can force its way up waterfalls. And where does one get the Orang Badge? You know you don't, you? That's right, you have to beat the Sutopolis Gym Leader. When you're all set to go, step up through that door. 
I think I have everything that I really need. I healed all my Pokemon. Yeah, we'll go through and we'll see what typing it is. And it doesn't help that the fact that Sonic only shows up during the fight and nowhere else. That is an amusing thing, ain't it? Why is... Oh no, it's an ice gym. Yo, how's it going, Champion Bound Neon? Sutopolis' Gym Leader Juan is a master of water-type Pokemon. And to get your Juan, and get to Juan, an icy floor will hamper your progress. Listen, I'm sorry, but that's all the advice that I have for you. The rest of the way, you have to go for it yourself. But that is kind of amusing, isn't it? If you have... Oh, oh, I thought if you had the, the one bike, you could go up that way. That would be amusing. Well, uh, time for shenanigans. Let's go for a gym fight. He's not only my favorite character in that game, he's also my favorite character, period. Sonic is pretty cool, ain't he? Oh, what? That's weird. I'll show you the sublime techniques I learned from our leader, Juan. I don't know who my favorite character would be. There's far too many good options in the world. I like Kirby. Who else do I like? Uh, Solid Snake is really cool. Who else? Who else? It's a super lot of characters. But my brain is pulling blanks right now because brain is on fire playing a video game. Meta Knight is stupid broken in Brawl. Meta Knight's also cool. Even if he's broken. I should teach you how harsh battles can be. How dare you threaten my Pokemon with a good time. And you only have one Pokemon. It's not even really that worth experience. Oh, God. Oh, no. Don't tell me that Juan is going to have, like, a level 45 plus Pokemon, is he? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to have to cheese my way out of this. Oh, you're strong. And I can't run, it seems. But how do I get up there, then? Alright, what's the shenanigans, game? Am I supposed to step on everything? Okay, gotcha. You're kind of a puzzle game. I love that one of the battles in story mode is Meta Knight against Lucario, two of the most broken characters in the games, and you get to choose which one you play as. Ain't that always fun? Alright. Hmm. I'm trying to map out how I'm supposed to get up on this one. Because we have to start at the bottom. Loop around. I think I got it. Interesting puzzle, my dude. Let's see. This one's far more difficult. Actually, I think I got it. Now, let's see. Where do we go from here? I think I got it. Hello, Juan. Why do you look like an older Stephen Stone? Why do you have his suit? Wait. Actually, since I figured out the puzzle, I could drop down to fight all his trainers. Experience! Oh, Jesus! There's so many here! There's so many people to fight! A graceful slide across the ice while crossing no lines. A trainer putting on that performance will be elegantly beautiful. There are so many people to fight here. You are going to be the food that pushes me on. Oh, yeah, and I also really like Lucario. Lucario is a cool Pokemon, as are Zoroarks, Hisuian Zoroarks. 
Obviously, Lopani. I'm a fan of those Eevee Evolution line. Eevee's just a fun Pokemon. There's just so many good Pokemon. I also like a lot of Digimon. There's just so many good Pokemon, Digimon characters in the world. Hopefully, Striker and Shane can carry me. Hopefully. Oh, hopefully. But yeah, I think I really like this uh, dun like dungeon, this gym's gimmick. This gym's gimmick is super cool. It also makes like, do you want to fight a bunch of people for experience, or do you just want to go and uh, <laughs> fight? I, I literally said, oh dear, are you gonna regret this? Not even that. It's really mostly the so shock of so many people. But they're gonna level me up good, man. They're gonna level me up good. So much experience in one place. You came all the way here, but you won't go to see one. Not if you lose to me, you won't. I could have literally gotten to him without facing you. I came to fight you for experience. You are a juice packet to me. Nothing else. And now my brain went, uh, Helsing Ultimate Abridged, uh, Alucard is also a fun character. There's just so many good characters in the world. And speaking of good characters in Pokemon, Ingo. Ingo, the sub, the subway master, the subway boss. I love that Pokemon Legends Arceus is the only reason I know of his character. And it is wonderful. Why did that go down so slowly? How much health do you have? You're strong. I was fooled by your cute looks. Oh, so you find <laughs> May cute, do you? When I'm with my Pokemon, the time flies by before you can say oops. I'm going to annihilate you. I just realized something. All of these trainers... They're Wands Fan Club! <laughs> there is goddamn fan club sitting here underneath the ice. They are psychopaths. It's like a zombie apocalypse. They're all sitting here waiting for a chance. I keep forgetting, you're like a normal type, aren't you? You're not even water type, Azuril, are you? Yet yeah, you know Slam. I, mean, I just realized, this is his goddamn harem under the ice. This is Steven's dad, by the way, you fucked. Oh, I guess Devin was his, like, grandfather, I suppose. Uh, but at least that explains why he has the same suit. Although... <laughs> Really, Steven? <laughs> You're gonna wear... Well, I guess actually this is Steven wearing his dad's suit. It would have been cool if his grandfather also wore the suit. It would have been amusing to me. Now, if only all of his Pokemon also wore the suit, then it would be perfect. A critical hit! Considering the tankiness of a Zoomerill, you get a pass, Shane. And you get that experience. Oops! Oops, indeed. Why does it look like your head is dent, lady? Your, your head is dented, lady. Hmm. I guess I can throw Nickel in for some training, because... Then Nickel can be like my super evasion Pokemon, if it comes to it. I train my Pokemon together with one. Don't think he's a, I'm a pushover. So what is this? Like Steven's a million and one adopted moms. We must annihilate you. Kill that pearl. How dare you ha increase your defense? That is illegal. No, oh Jesus, that actually raised your defense fucking high, didn't it? Leave the boy alone! I do find it funny that they'll, 
<laughs> Whirlpool basically acts like a burn, but for water. What, they didn't want to add, like, uh... What is it? Like, a waterlogged status effect. There's a lot of interconnected story you often miss as a child. That's why revisiting them so many years later feels refreshing. Yeah, it's just really fun to revisit older games, like, even ones that you've never played before, or definitely ones that you did, just to, like, really pick up on things that you, like, missed out on. Things that you glossed over, or things that maybe you just forgot. And plus, it also is fun to, like, see if the thing hel still holds up on its own. Like, overall, Pokemon Emerald is a super fun time. Even if I feel like some of the gym leaders are a little bit, uh, a little overtuned, like Flannery and her overheat special 5 billion. The Pokemon gym of the highest level in the Hoenn region, that's the Sutopolis gym. And I will conquer it, because I have a lot of healing and revives, and I can stall the fuck out if I want. For example, Bebe from Gen 4 is Bill's quote-unquote friend. Eh. I don't remember. It has been so long since I played Generation 4. I cannot wait to get to, to get to Platinum after this. But we will take a small break from Pokemon games again, so that we can return to Ace Attorney. <laughs> A return to Ace Attorney and Breath of the Wild, because this just completely ate <laughs> Breath of the Wild's time. How dare. We must destroy that monster. How dare it use a super effective attack against Nickel. What a high level you are. What a bunch of money you just gave me. <laughs> Your grim look is so charming. May looks grim to you. Is that supposed to joke that <laughs> your your character fell down here and is now just super annoyed? It's just like, I was at the end. I was at the end, but now I am here. How dare. <laughs> well, at least the Fury attack isn't doing too much. Will you stop? <laughs> stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. No. Nah. I found a new appreciation of uh, the series due to the writing in these games. I do like the writing. Uh, uh, sometimes it feels a bit basic, but at the same time, it still feels nice. Uh, plus, this is also my first time playing, like, the Generation 3 main games, so it's very interesting. You motherfucker. You utter bastard. You mother... Why? For a moment, I thought the fish did aerial ace. Why are you being a monster? Why do you want to kill the world? Break through the confusion and anger. God damn it. No, you don't. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. If only you did not frickin' confuse to my bird. And then you snapped out of confusion. Good for you. Good for Bird. I'm trying to remember exactly why I decided to go on a Pokemon just spree. Oh dear, I went too much too easy on you. You used a full restore and I got $8,000. Yeah, because I think I was playing through... Like... Blah, blah, blah. Mystery Dungeon, I believe? And then I went, I really want to play through the, like, other games again. The very beauty is of it compelled me to become a trainer. And I've also been replaying Legends of Ar Legends Arceus, which is also a lot of fun. I can battle for really rare Pokemon if you'd like. The most shocking revelation to me was the fact of Professor Juniper is that girl in your hometown in Gen 2 games that wanted to be a professor. Really? I did not know that. That would be cool if true. Ah, oh, goddammit, it's Feebas, here to haunt me. But that sounds like a really cool, like, callback and continuity. That seems, like, really cool. Super cool, if true. 
Goodbye, Feebass. You look like a malnourished Magikarp. And let me guess, Melodic. No, just another Feebass? What's wrong with you? I guess you did say you were going to fight with rare Pokemon, but still. Not Sweet Kiss, not an Angel, not Confusion. And what did you eat? An orange berry. Well, you're gonna die. She was the first female professor, and the time flow machine. And the time flow matches. Ah! I almost read that as machines, because brain is dumb. <laughs> well, that's really cool! I always love it, neat little things like that. It's unobtrusive to, like, the average player, but at the same time, long-time players and those that notice can be like, Oh, that's cool! Although that makes me think it would also be neat if, like, Gary became a professor. But he, uh, but he became, like, a champion and a gym leader, so I guess it balances out. Break through confusion and kill! Ah! She appears th uh, uh, 30 in black and white t and 10 in Gen 2. Yeah, that would track. Especially for, like, our real timeline stuff. Ish, ish. I forget, when did Gen 2 come out? And when did black and white come out? My memory is mush. You battle with more beauty than I could muster. Oh, there now. Did you have a good look at my Pokemon? I got $10,000 for kicking your ass. And now I'm going to go heal up all my Pokemon, do the puzzles again, and then probably be pseudo-annihilated. Like, again, <laughs> who will win? Who will win? Will it be the game finally throwing the final gym leader uh, as a super challenge at me? Will the final gym leader mimic that of the nose pass of Gym 1, mimic that of Brawly, of Watson, of Flannery, and its complete annihilation of me? Or will it follow in the, pro the path of Norman, of uh, the twins, and uh, Winona, who got stomped? Although Winona's... Uh, Aviary? I forget its name. Was kind of annoying. Boosted its stats to hell and then annihilated me. Alright, 90 to remember. I think I went like this. Gotta be careful not to miss input here. Gonna do it carefully. And huzzah! I do like that the stones indicate where his little, like, fan club members stand. 2001 for gold silver, uh, 2002 for crystal, and 2010 for black and white, 2012 for black and white too. So, yeah, kind of an extended uh, timeline overall, but I think it works out. All right. Let us fight you, one. Let me ask you, did you know? <laughs> did you know gaming? Ah, as I should not be so coy, it was I who taught Wallace everything there is to know about Pokemon. I did hear that he was uh, replaced by his mentor, yes. Once I had given up my position as the gym leader, in my place I had entrusted Wallace with the gym. However, a compelling reason arose for me to take make a comeback. Ah, but enough chatter. Let us begin our match, shall we? Please, you shall bear witness to our artistry, a grand illusion of water sculpted by Pokemon and myself. If I have my way, I'm gonna annihilate you. Oh yeah, and I... This guy is dapper as fuck! That's amazing. But yeah, I, I still think that the double battle gym leader twins cheated. I swear that they did. Because in normal double battles... It is meant to be each Pokemon trainer of the double battle have a set amount, and once they are done, that side of the field is empty. Game cheated. Wait. 
Isn't Wish Cash... Aren't you double typed? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Thunderbolt! I knew it! Oh no! I knew that the world would punish me for my lack of Pokemon knowledge. But luckily I have Shane. Because I do believe that you're water ground type, aren't you, Wishcash? You are going to be annihilated! Ah, but you're raising your special defense. I should have sent Shane out first. And you still went down. Critical hit! Good job, Shane. You are a good boy. Acelio. I do not know if you're double typed. Huh. You know, you're just a fatter version of a Sfeel, aren't you? With a mustache. It, the game did it again! The game, <laughs> the game did it again! The game did it again! It did it again. You motherfucker. The game cheated again! It left it with one fucking health! That happens all the time with my enemies! Why? Why does it happen every single time? It's like the game is going, you're go, you're doing too well. Uh, fuck off. Well, I guess I have to get lucky. <laughs> Logistically, everything checks out. I do want to ask the devs that. <laughs> I don't even know what that's related to, because I was on my rambles. You're about to send out Kingdra. I'm going to send out Striker. Because <laughs> I just know that uh, Juniper. Ah, oh, yeah, it does check out. So it's, like, very cool. It's a very cool thing. I love it. Please die. Ah, uh, crap. You're not super affected by that? If that does too much damage, I'm going to have to heal... Thunder wave! I wonder who your ace is. One. Ah, shit. Oh, don't- damn it! Ah, I meant to go down one. Wait, you went to sleep? And you got rid of- Ah, oh, you're a tricky bastard. And you ate something in your sleep? Oh, that's dirty. Thunder wave! Because now you're out of your berries. And it's using double team. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh, I'm not going to ever be able to be hit you. I'm not ever going to be able to hit you. Thunderbolt! And you're oh, hey, the hit. Wait, ah, oh, damn it. Wait, wait, maybe, maybe. But explains why she gave me the Elm vibes. Yeah, that would, because I've never played uh, the games that had Juniper in them, I don't think. But yeah, it would explain why she would have Elm vibes because, well, she came from the game Elm was from, which would be a cool little like kind of callback or like spiritual homage in a way. You are an evil person, aren't you? Well, but I can't send out... A... Basically, I have to. I have to wait until Striker falls. Because this evil Kingdra knows Aurora Beam. And I just know that if I send out my boy, my Shane, he will be one hit by Aurora Beam upon being thrown out, and we will be back in this room. But... Ah, sleep and become healthy, will ya? Well, fine. I'm gonna try something else, then. You raised your, like, diddly D, And her design seems very reminiscent of Johto. I do like those kind of callbacks. I know this is risky. I'm gonna use a bunch of double teams. Raise my own. Because... I can't do that. I have to... Aerial Ace! It never misses! Oh, why'd you wake up now? 
I feel like the game cheated there. It poked... Game, I feel like you cheated. I'm gonna use double team and see if that helps. The moment that I attack you woke up, I feel like that's shenanigans. Aerial Ace! The never missing move. And it was a critical hit. And you keep missing. Keep missing, you stupid Kingdra. You thought that you could raise your diddly dee ah hell. Goodbye, Nickel. I probably should have gave you that never missing great accuracy electric move, shouldn't I, Striker? Never mind, the Kingdra is dead. Long live the Kingdra, the Kingdra is dead. I don't know what the typing is for Crawdont, so I'm going to send out Shane. I know that it's like, uh, I, I, I forget what is this, uh, Corfish, Corfish, Corfish. I know it's evolved from that. Leaf Blade! I can't wait for your first playthrough of Gen, uh, Gen 5 then. I am most definitely excited, if only because I only know about it vaguely, because I know like Team Plasma, I know N, I know Z the Zoroark. And now I know uh, Ingo and Emmett, and I, even though they're just a little Battle Frontier battle train, I, I want to meet them. From you, I sense the brilliant shine of skill that will overcome all. However, compared with me or even Wallace, you are lacking in elegance. Rude. Perhaps I should make you a loan of my outfit? Yes, please. <laughs> I merely jest. Rather than my clothes, I shall reward you with this, the Rain Badge. Huzzah! And I only suffered one KO, and I didn't even need to use any revives. Having the Rain Badge shall assure you the full obedience of all your Pokémon to your every command. The Rain Badge also allows the use of the HM move Waterfall to scale walls of cascading water. And so that you never forget the battle we shared, take this. What would it be? What, what, what is TMO3? What is it? The technical machine I handed you contains Water Pulse, that move you used once. In use, it will occasionally confuse the target with ultrasonic waves. And then added him to my Pokédab. And now I, you have to you have to crumble down into his party of goons even if you win. That's hilarious. But yeah, once again, the latter half of the gym leaders all felt easier to beat. Yeah, you've beaten even one who was supposedly the best in all Hoenn. Okay, check out your trainer card. If you've gotten all the badges, you're set for the Pokemon League Challenge! And everyone's gone. <laughs> well, now to heal everybody and... Then face the music of probably having to give Waterfall to dive. Meaning that we'll have to replace Luna again until we get to the Elite Four. Probably. But that was a nice gym battle. I really liked it. It felt really fun. And now... Wait, I'm dumb. I forgot. My brain just immediately was just like, Yeah, I'm gonna have to fucking give a the HM waterfall to that little monster. That I forgot to check. Granted, well, I could probably give waterfall to Zoom, but that would get rid of Headbutt. Probably. But let's see. Nope! We have to use Dive anyway. Goodbye, Luna. At least until we get to the Elite Four. I apologize. I can't wait for them to replace HMs with just, like, special event thingies, because I do loathe having to move around my team like this. Especially when you can't even easily make multiple teams to account for everything. Now watch my Whalmer not be able to learn this move. Good, you can. If you wouldn't be able to, I would have been very upset with you. <laughs> I find it funny. We just got the TM Water Pulse, yet this little munchkin bastard already knew it. Learn Waterfall, you evil monster. And with that, we're going to make our way to Evergrande Sauté. The Evergrande Sauté. Well, let's go. 
Since we made... We can get into fights here? With Magikarp, of course. <laughs> I was shocked for a moment. Yeah, I just can't wait to, like, experience and re-experience the majority of the Pokemon games. Especially the ones I never got to play before. It'll just be a very grand experience, I feel like. Alright, now we need to make our way to that one little block. Which is, yep, go all the way left and then, or, all the way left, yeah, perfect. All the way right, then down. And then we will make it to the Evergrand. <laughs> It'll be very cool. But yeah, I've never beaten this one, so I wonder how hard this Elite Four will be. I'm gonna use my goddamn repel, you, you stupid little tentacles. You little bastards. I don't even think I've ran into a rabid uh, tentacruel. Alright, repel time. Where did I keep the repel? I have some normal repels. I need to find my way to the side, which is probably down this way then. Sutopolis, I think you are being mean and blocking me here. Are you really gonna tell me, game, that it would have been more economical to just start at Moss Deep? To fly there and then go? Is that what you're telling me, Gam? Because I think you are. We'll just keep kind of inching down and going right. And who knows, maybe by the time that I finish through, like, the various Pokemon games and, uh, like, give enough breaks here or there, I'll even have, like, the want to re-experience Pokemon Legends Arceus again on stream. Because I never did get around to, like, doing the super duper, like, second tier of the post game. Because I got all the way to the, like, final trainer boss. Uh, but I never did, like, the up, like, the, uh, Ingo battle things, the trainer battles back at Jubilee. And I don't think that I did the, like, seek out all Pokemon stuff. So, yeah, if I ever do a, uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus Redux playthrough on stream, after going through all of the Pokemon games, well, well we will see. I swear, every single time they use that power stuff, they're like, ah, <laughs> it becomes swift. At that point, just use swift. Why does Shift Tree look like he's a single head with legs? And his crotch is actually his chin. Ah, uh, not a rock type. Nightfang is gonna chip a tooth. Hey, it's the bastard. It's the motherfucker that fainted Shane all those years ago. Kill him. How is that? <laughs> yeah, Pokemon typings make no sense, I swear. And why did you have to paralyze him? You are a whore. And what are you blocking? Can't escape now. You are mean. Because my hope for the end of this stream, this can't be, is to make my way through the, uh, bah, 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 the, uh, I forget what was it, what road is it? Champion Road? I forget. But, like, yeah, make it all the way to the Elite Four so that I can uh, grind in the highest level area that is possible. Well, there's a trainer to fight. Did you level up? I can't even tell. <laughs> Naughty nature. Well, we'll keep you away from the creepy barber from, uh, what's it called? Uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog. You have to swim, cycle, then run a marathon in a triathlon. It's a grueling race that consists of three events. I think I've already won that at this rate. I will beat you. Senseless. But I guess as we continue on our way, I should have fed him something to get rid of that paralysis. Meh. But as we continue on, I've also uh, restarted my playthrough of Dishonored 2. 
because way, way back, like, not on stream at all, it's just for my own personal enjoyment, I wanted to play through the, like, Dishonored games. I'll probably have to re, like, go back to Dishonored 1 and play through the DLCs, because I don't think I did that. I wanted to get to Dishonored 2 so quickly. Game, you are being a bastard bitch. Oh, he's paralyzed. Oh, he's paralyzed. Oh, he missed. Oh, he's paralyzed. I'm gonna paralyze the your firstborn child! Jerk. Well, now we don't have to de-paralyze him because he leveled up. A Pokemon battle is grueling, too. Oh, might as well make the best of this. I'd like a rematch sometime. And suddenly I'm reminded of, like, all those Pokemon fanfics that, like, for whatever reason, just aside, and now I'm going to incorporate Twitter! <laughs> At least most of the time, like, the people that are, like, <laughs> being the focus of the not-Twitter, at least, were, like, gym leaders and famous trainers, so it makes sense. The sunlight seems to be more harsh in this area. I already beat them! You're looking awfully tough. I wonder if I can win. <laughs> the sunlight is harsh here. Well, if that I, if only I fought you like when they were battling, then it would have made sense. Well, get rid of him because he's ugly. And he's a fish, but he's not. Goodbye, not fish. You are now dead. And now my brain went to a weird... Th I don't know what my brain was thinking. It's just like, what if there was a man, but he was treated as a fish? And he was actually a fish, but he just looked like a man. It's just like, that was like, what, Leonard Nimoy's Seaman on the, the, the Dreamcast, I think? I couldn't see very well because of the sun's glare. Get some sunglasses, like that guy. I guess it was impossible to win. It's always impossible for you to win, Billy. Nobody can win against me. Not even me. If I fought a version of me, we would both instantly die because paradoxes. Great, now my mind went, what if there was like a Pokemon story? I don't care, Kira, go sketch some names into the Death Note. But, like, what if there was a Pokemon game where you're playing as a character, but in actuality, you are, like, a body snatcher from another dimension here to take that person's place in this world? I don't know why my brain went with that, but it did. Why are all the Wingle coming to attack me? I'm not a dead body. Big on, Satan. I just wanted to make sure to check there was nothing that way. Because it was just a little, little crevasse. You are level 15. Why are you even fighting me? Or the more accurate word is, you are level 15. Why are you in this area? Past the trainers that are like super duper leveled. Ever Grand City, the paradise of flowers, the sea, and Pokemon. And a Pokemon! Yeah, yeah, nice. The long and harrowing victory road. It's like reliving the path one has traveled in life. Believe in your Pokemon and give it your very best. Neon, you've clawed your way up to face the Pokemon League. I'm happy for you. You made my cheering worthwhile. Oh, it's Scott! If you are to become the Pokemon League champion, I'll get in touch with you then. Okay, Neon, go for greatness. And now my brain just went, what if you played a Pokemon game where you're, like, playing through, like, the gym experience or, like, the, the gym challenge experience of, like, a pre-existing character? I'll return to that. The Pokemon League is only a short distance after Victory Road. If you've come this far, what choice do you have but to keep going? But, like, what if you went on a Pokemon gym challenge in a game and it turned out that you're actually playing, like, the life story of a character you already knew. Like, I don't know. You go through and you play as, like, Ingo, and you get to find Litwick and evolve it into Shandular. I think it would be cool. 
Oh, now my brain did a thing. My brain did a thing, and now I'm kind of sad. I'm gonna have to sit here and explain why. Okay, my brain went, what if Nintendo, like, released a super collection of all of the past games? Like, maybe bring them up into a nice, uniform, sprite style? And, basically, all of your characters and teams carry throughout all of the games. Oh, but then that would also, like, make you want to, like, rewrite some of the games to incorporate, like, past champions and stuff. So that, like, all of them will come back. I think it would be kind of neat. Entering Victory Road, but just kind of, like, a series of Pokemon games that acknowledge your past. Also, there better not be more, like... Ba ba ba. I'm trying to think of the word. More waterfalls in here. I already put them away. You better not, like, go heedly heedly ho. Really, I should run away from all random encounters. And then I can use the random encounters for leveling up once we get to the, like, Elite Four grounds. Because that's my main want. Why is this place so big? Because basically what I want to do is get through Victory Road and then stop right before the Elite Four so I can gather up a lot of experience and grinding to then fight the Elite Four. Because then this would be easy to grind with because all of the enemies are high level. But I also don't want to use, like, all of my items and stuff to fight the random Pokemon here because... Oh, like, not my moves. is because uh, there are trainers here, and I want to fight the trainers. I want to fight the trainer game! I'll go ahead and lightning you, because you're a decent chunk of experience. And you go down to one hit. Goodbye. I didn't come all this way to lose now. The possibility doesn't exist. Like, even if you lose, you can still go on ahead. Although I suppose he means, like, if he loses, then he'll know that he can't beat me, and goddammit. <laughs> Another Magneton. Okay, will Thunderbolt hit him good, or what? Ah, it hits him, did it? Why was even, what was I even gonna say? It hits him decently. Lock on. And what does that do? You took aim. What, is that like a, a guaranteed hit next round then? Congratulations, you did 20 damage. Now we're both paralyzed and might not move. Congratulations! I'm gonna lightning you to death even though you're an electric type. Haha, <laughs> you're paralyzed and made of metal. Haha, uh -huh, you got critical hit even though it means nothing. Level up the striker. And you're gonna use Muck. I will, um, I'll send. Wait. He's a poison type! He's weak! Kill him, Luna. Kill him. Eat his soul. Psychic. Kill him good. Die five billion deaths. Impossible, I lost. Improbable, I bossed. Die. You are cringe. No one loves you. You are going to die alone. I'll ensure of it. I wonder how many times I've just misspoken entirely. I'm still annoyed that Psychic-type moves are treated like physical against Steel-types. It's like I have a special defense calculation diddly-dee. 
And I'm just like, why? Why do you exist? I want you to burn. Well, I guess we're back here. Diddly dee dee diddly dee dee diddly. I forget. You're part dark type and you won't get annihilated if I use, like, confusion on you, will you? Because I... Mm, I don't think so. I need a cheat sheet. I need my own, like, actual Pokédex. Where I'm just like... Wally? Hi, Neon. I bet you're surprised to see me here. I made it all the way here and it's all thanks to you. Neon, losing you that time made me stronger, but I'm not going to lose anymore. I'm going to win for the Pokemon who gave me courage and strength. Okay, here I come. I'm sorry, Wally, but I'm going to have to throw you off the waterfall. How did you get so strong so quickly? Psychic attack! Destroy his partner's mind! Oh, don't tell me you're gonna do what Winona did. You're stealing tactics, Wally. You're stealing tactics, and that is illegal. Please die. And you're gonna send out Adele, Catty, are you? Who should I send out? Normal versus normal, then. You made a weird face. Now die. How did you get to my level? You are but a sickly child. I gave unto you an ally. And now you are here after I defeated you at the height of your hubris? You dare to have caught up to me. How are your Pokemon so strong? I fought entire criminal organizations to get this strength! How dare you! Sing should be treated like rest for the enemy Pokemon and they should be able to restore their strength if you put them to sleep. What the fuck? What even happened? Things flew across the screen, and I didn't read. I'm very confuzzled. But I still want to know, how are you this strong? Oh, so when, uh, <laughs> when Juan's Pokemon friggity goes and I, Juan is like, I'm my Pokemon's going to put itself to sleep and heal, and it's only going to go for two turns. Meanwhile, here I am on, like, turn four. Good. Don't don't you dare poison my poor boy. Poor girl. Quit stealing my moves. Of course you got a critical hit, you stupid motherfucker. You will be destroyed for this. You dare to hurt Paul Zoom? Leaf Blade! Where did you catch them all? Where did you get the strength? Rosalia, huh? Nickel! Come forth and destroy! You dare to be even stronger than I? I roused a sleeping dragon to cease the quake of land and cry of sky. I just realized. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send Striker out to deal with you. And I'll, in the meantime, I'll heal up... I'll heal up the poor Zoom. Because Zoom has Surf. First things first, Thunder Wave. You bastard. I cannot wait to send Night Fang after your Gardevoir. 
I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see you cry. You're stealing my shit! Good, you snapped out of confusion. Thunder wave! How dare you match the strength of gym leaders against me. It appears that Stryker may fall. Very well. Sorry, Stryker. You must be a sacrificial lamb unless you destroy this magneton. Avoid the thunderbolt. Goodbye, Stryker. Unless you can survive. Doubtful. Goodbye, Stryker. And now an old friend comes to play. Zoom. You have Surf. Annihilate it. Don't you dare paralyze Zoom. Wally, I want you to know that I quite hate you. Oh, and it was a full restore too, wasn't it? You are a darn fiend. There's just no good setup against you, is there? Really, the only one that has a good chance against you. I'm going to have to revive Striker. And then heal Striker if you miss. Of course you wouldn't miss, because you're a bastard. And of course you didn't live, because no, I don't get to have the same luck as these bastards. Giga Drain. Giga Drain again. Make it a losing battle for Magneton. Critical hit, finally in my favor. Thank you. Goodbye, Magneton of bullshit. And you're going to use Gardevoir. How about Nightfang? One of my oldest companions, come forth and counter his vile friend. Do you even have any attacks that can go? Oh, you're going to double team? My God of knows that too. You're very original. Jesus Christ, you have a lot of health and or defense. Once again, Calm Mind also know that one. Jesus Christ. You are just going to become a tanky God of War, aren't you? And of course you miss. Also just realized none of the bites diddly did made them flinch. Though I think most of them came after they used their move, so I guess it makes sense. Go ahead. Oh wait, haha, <laughs> you have no fight moves. You have no fight moves against Nightfang. Haha, <laughs> you fool. You are a fool. How does it feel to be brought low and a worthless critical hit that wouldn't have mattered in the end? Goodbye, God of War. How dare you. Wow. Neon, you're strong after all. Were you doubting me? I couldn't beat you today, Neon. But one of these days, I'll catch up to you. You already kind of had. You monster. Now I have to go and heal my Pokemon. I'm just going to use a repel because I want to get out of heal and heal my Pokemon. I, did, I was not expecting an impromptu not rival fight from Wally. I guess it makes sense. Rule of three, we meet him in Petalburg or whatever. 
We catch him as Pokemon. We fight him later. It kind of makes sense that he would appear a third time. I just didn't expect it. And I also didn't expect for him to be stronger than one. Then again, that was mostly type advantage. I don't really have anything that's really good against electric, like his variety team. And now I'm just going to wander around and try to find all the things. While using one step after a bell. A single step. To repel! Singular! One! I couldn't beat you today, but I'll beat you later. In your dreams, kid. I don't have enough repels for this place. This seemingly infinite and harsh road lives up to its name of victory. I'm gonna wander around and fight as many of the trainers elsewhere, though, because I need to level up my Pokemon. You're part poison type, right? Please? Die? Yes! And it didn't survive with one HP to taunt me. Your battle style is fantastic. I hit you with a single move. Also, you have one Pokemon. How did you get here? How are all these Pokemon trainers who have one Pokemon making it in here? I don't feel like this is legal. I feel like these people are plants. They were planted by the Elite Four to make it look like there were more people here. And... <sighs> I guess I could also go buy super repels and stuff later. Fine, I'm going to. I'm going. I'm going to leave. I'm going to go to Moss Deep or wherever. I am going to buy some repels so that I can just fight all the trainers. And worry about fighting the random Pokemon later. Level up for Luna. But it does seem to be that, like, the champion will probably be in the, like, 50 levels range. They're going to be a bastard to beat. Alright. We are going to fly to Moss Deep to pick up more repels and revives and heals. Now we just need to find the, the store. It's right here. Alright. I don't really need any balls. Let's see. Status problems. Max repel for 250 steps. We will buy a lot of these. We will take 15 max repels. If that's not enough to get us through, well, fuck me. We'll take 25 hyper potions and 15 revives. We are going to war. And once again, we also return to the world of obscene, like, encounter rates. Also, why is this called Evergrande City? There isn't a city here. It is a rock formation. And once again, because I want to get through this at least, uh, relatively quickly, we will use repels to fight other Pokemon trainers. How do I get up there? Ah, we can't get there yet. They're, they're a different way. Got your game. I do like the music that's playing here. I don't want to use Flash. Why are... Why? 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 Flash has only existed in one goddamn part of the game, and now you're going to suddenly throw it in here? Asshole game. That is stupid. That is genuinely stupid. 
that is completely and honestly terrible design. That honestly makes me angry. Why? Why have to use Flash now? There is literally no point. Flash was used once elsewhere in the entire game. And now you are like, oh, and now you need to do the same thing with the goddamn waterfall. This is stupid. This is bad. This is genuinely bad design. If you are going to include things, make them be used throughout the goddamn fucking game. I'm going to see if anybody else can learn Flash. It'll be bullshit that I have to waste another move, but I don't want to move my team around again. Seriously, Flash was used once. Flash was used once. Striker can learn it. And we don't use Leer all that much, quite honestly. I would not mind losing Leer if it means I don't have to put up with that shenanigans. Especially because, more than likely, the game is going to go, lol, 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 there's another waterfall here in Victory Road that you need. It's just like, why? Why are there so many HMs in this goddamn game? Seriously, it was at least somewhat manageable back when it was just like strength, cut, ruck, smash. Like, well, no, even Generation 1 was kind of shenanigan bullshit. I hate it. But yeah, no, I hate it. That's so stupid. Like, again, I don't mind it if it is just a few things. But dive you only have to really use twice. Waterfall you have to use once. Strength and Rock Smash, at least you used a decent amount of time in this game. But Flash was only used once before this. This is genuinely bad design. I'm sorry, but it is. No, this is bad design. And who knows, maybe this is one of those super easy, you can get through it blind if you know what you're doing. Nope, it looks like this is actually a deep section. This is so badly designed. Again, if there were multiple times where you had to use Flash throughout the game, it would be fine. But that's not what happened. They went and they made it so that you only had to use it early on in the game and then once late in the game. That's it. That's so bad. To win your way through the Pokemon League, you need the trust of your Pokemon. And hidden machines that are used once and then never again until now. Yes, I am annoyed. How did you know? Will Surf work? I don't think it'll do a lot of damage, though. I think Headbutt will actually do more. But yeah, this honestly very annoys me. This annoys me very much. Because there's no reason to design a game like that. There is no reason to design a game like this. Like, why? Why even include Flash in this game? It was only used once, and it was never in an interesting way. Like, oh, now you can make it so you are no longer limited by vision. That is not a cool game mechanic. Unless it is something that is like, you go through a place kind of in the dark, and then you earn... Like, the thing that, like, turns off the darkness so you can go around unimpeded, like, as part of a single dungeon. That's a cool gimmick. It's not a cool game mechanic for the entire game to spring on you at random. I am very annoyed by this. Like, again, it was... it's just so bleh. It's just so bleh. Why would you do this? Why Why do you know Hyper Beam? <laughs> why include Flash? To save your game, obviously. Ha <laughs> ha. And of course, Sandstorm's gonna kill Zoom. Fuck off, game. You are full of bullshit. <laughs> this is unbelievably dumb. It should have died in one hit from Surf. He 
Your relationship is based on solid trust. It is currently based on I'm going to bash your head in with your cladal. Well, yeah, that is just such a dumb game mechanic. Why is it only used twice? Why is it only used twice? Are there like bonus dungeons that I miss that use flash? Why is it only used twice? <laughs> That's child abuse, bro. That person deserves it, child, any man, woman, or child. They shall be annihilated for their sins. In my Pokemon world, if you dare exist, you shall be punished. I'm just gonna wander around and fight people. Get more experience. The thought that I'm getting closer to the Pokemon League, I'm getting stage fright. <laughs> don't worry, I'll set the stage on fire so you don't have to fear anything but fire. Flinch more, you stupid pheasant. Flinch more! I shall murder you in the dark. No one will find your body. I never did get to catch a Mawile. I probably wouldn't have incorporated them into my team composition, but it would have been nice to, like, have as an option. I do enjoy Mawile as a Pokemon. I do think that Surf should be more powerful since it's a mandated move thing. It's kind of weird that they're like, we're going to give this normal type access to a water move. And it's only going to be okay, even against Pokemon that are like, diddly D. So come on, Night Fang, diddly D over this Kadabra. Look, it's that magician that literally nobody knows about except for the fact that he thought that Kadabra was based on him. And that, like, looming threat of lawsuit kept Kadabra from ever appearing in anything other than the games for years on end. I couldn't do a thing. Now go burn. And may no one ever find your body. Then again, this is, like, Victory Road, where everybody has probably all the HMs and all of the badges, so they might be able to find your body. It'll be like a Pokemon horror game. Find the dead body, kids! And now we're back at the beginning. Which, they're... Really the beginning. Interesting. Interesting. Ah, that's why. Gotcha. It's like a mini puzzle. But then if we jump here, what happens? We're back here. Just want to make sure. Want to go through all possibilities. And I will continue the uh, rappel because these trainers are... <laughs> This, this this victory road is annoying enough as it is on its own. Don't tell me that this is actually just a coincidental bonus area. I found the bonus area instead of the actual way. Cool, Kale. Ah, oh, great! More darkness. What? 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 I put on this red? The repel. But the repel is a cut of attitude! The f- Fight me. You shouldn't get complacent just because you have a lot of gym badges. There's always going to be someone who's better than you, like Wally, apparently! He didn't fight g g criminal organizations, and yet he's strong as me! What the f- Drown! Is your sand slash called Bin? Because he's gonna fucking drown! Really living up to your name there.
Be gone, Sand Slash. Into the darkness with you. Oh boy, a fire type. <laughs> Surf is getting a lot of use today. Goodbye, Ninetales. Ah, I could have had a Ninetales of my own if that one on Mount Pyre didn't die. Why must you have Confuse Ray? You are going to die of horrible death. Break through the confusion and feed the meth. Motherfucker. Of course it burns! Confusion. Burn. Everything. Everything all at once everywhere. Can this hyper potion become a hyper beam that I wield like a gun? <coughs> <coughs> Got a tickle in my throat. Break through the confusion and kill! Why? The world is made of pain. So give it drugs. Why? Why is confusion in this game? We are now going to feed carbon monoxide into this trainer's home so they too can be confused before they die. Break through the confusion! Good, it's dead. How dare you exist in my world? At least you were decent experience. You're gonna send out a Tropius? I'm gonna send out a Nickel. Wait, but you're part flying type, so it probably won't actually amount to much. Oh well. Why do you even count as a flying type? I would It would make some sense. Oh, wait. I thought you were... I think you're just a grass type that can use a lot of, like, flying moves, maybe? Is that what it is? I don't understand you, grass dinosaur. I do not understand you at all. And level up for Nickel 2. It's a whole level up jamboree! You're better than me! You're goddamn right, you confuse Ray musing motherfucker. There better not be a fucking waterfall here! I fucking swear to you! I'm gonna put you in the grave! Well, at least it looks like it should be just a bonus area. It better goddamn be just a bonus area. I swear. Don't you dare. This this victory road requires far too many HMs, if you ask me. Why are you still burned? Get over your burn now. We must give you a gun so that you can then, like, shoot someone. Why the label? Nobody wants to look at the label. Nobody. You could have somebody who's the biggest fan of labels on the earth, and they would look at that and say, fuck off. I'd heard there was a tough little kid around. Did they mean you? If by tough you mean I am going to take my bicycle out of my hammer space and beat you to death with it, the answer is yes. What even doth that do? Alright, well I guess I'll just increase my damage while you're away. But, I do find it funny that my immediate thought when dealing with the HMs in this game is, why couldn't they just have like a perpetual Pokemon character who does all the HM stuff for you? And it's just like, ah, that's just like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And why is Substitute lasting for five million years? Do I have to deal enough damage to it? Enough attacks? This is dumb. That is a dumb move. And you should feel bad. You designed it, 
I'm gonna dock your wages for the rest of your life. Why? Why, game, do enemies get all of the shit? They're the ones. Well, I guess technically I did live with one HP this time like all my enemies did, but still, it does not happen all that often to me while it happens to them all the time. And it only happened because substitute is a silly move. Welcome to You Don't Get to Play the Game. I think he's going to send out a Graveler. So I shall send out Shane. Send out your dead man. Well, let me guess. You uh, you want to use uh, an explosion. Die. No explosion for you. Now you're going to live with one HP and use explosion? Good, you didn't. Because I called out on it. I was psychic. I called you out on it, and you wanted to be contrarian, and now it didn't happen. And yeah, you can go ahead and kill the whale mare as well. A whale lord? I thought you didn't exist yet. But now you will die anyway. That is a slow-moving health bar. The little shrimp is tough! How dare you call me a shrimp? I am a prawn! I could have sworn that I still have my max repel on. Why do you break through max repel? What is the point of repel if it does not repel, you little bastards? You are an annoying little munchkin, aren't you? So I want to check this out. Where does this lead? To an item. <laughs> to a move that I already know. Ah, oh, well, at least I still well, I have the option. I have the opportunity. Oh boy, a double battle. I can't wait for the agony. What shenanigans are you going to throw at me? The elite among the elite gather in this cave. How far are you finding it? I've come this far, but the tension's giving me awful stomach pain. Oh boy, I can't wait for that uh, alien xenomorph to burst out of your gut and kill you. Alright, Claydol. Alright, both of you. We're gonna focus on the clay doll. Well, actually, actually, I forget. I keep forgetting that the clay doll is weird and is like actually affected by things. Although I did doom Nickel to being affected by the other one because, <laughs> all right, annihilate the clay doll now. Why? I do not understand Claydol at all. Oh, hey! A lantern! Oh no, you're an electric type, aren't you? Nope, nope, we are healing Nickel! We are healing Nickel right now! Especially because they're going to be hit by lightning, probably. Please flinch! Please flinch. Please, yes. Keep flinching. Keep flinching that fish. Oh, no. I should have attacked Demetacham. Do you know anything that can hit dark types? At all, or are you just an asshole? Bye, Nickel, you're dead. Because these guys are jerks. Why does it resist? Why must it resist? That should be illegal. It should be illegal for them to resist. Go ahead and kill that lantern for its sins. You have a shitty sense of humor, game. Heedily he, we are gonna faint your Pokemon after a battle of attrition, and then we're gonna let it die. You're mean. 
I don't understand why Claydol is uh, super affected by Bite. I don't get it. You are a bastard. I just wanted you to die without wasting my headbutt, but here you are, being a bastard. Now kill. I do not understand Claydol's typing at all. Not rattled in the least bit. Oh, it hurts. I'm gonna shove you down on some stairs. Oh, it hurts. Meanwhile, you guys are being jerks to my beloved nickel. How dare you double teaming nickel like that? You should be ashamed of yourselves and thrown in the water to drown. You must be getting a little tired. I have so many revives and hyper potions that I could go for a million years. Damn it. How much damage doth it do? Enough. I think that's just a, you send in a new Pokemon, they take damage move. Yay, critical hit. How dare you, Skarmory. Now be gone. And now I have to change, because you're a bastard. Bastard. You're a bastard. How dare you send a sable eye out at me. They must be annihilated. Not dead in one go. This game is rigged. Unless I am dominating at all times, the game is rigged. Why? There is no need for you to put so many healing trailers, trainers in this dungeon. Be gone, you little bastard. How dare you exist in my world. No signs of tiring at all. Ah, there sure is. Me tiring of your bullshit. Gotta heal some people. Gotta heal some people. Oh, no, it was just a shortcut is what it was. All right. That makes it more forgivable. Oh, Rappel's effect wore off. I didn't even know it was going with how many of the goddamn little fuckers were just popping up out of nowhere to attack me. I've trained together with my whole family, every one of us. I'm not losing to anyone. Are you that, uh... That old eldest son from that... Like, that family that just, like, sent out, like, it was a marathon battle where there was, like, the father, the mother, the daughter, and the grandma, and they were all like, oh, but you should see the son. He's super powerful. Is that what you're talking about? I've... Hey, Nightfang, kill. The psychic type is out here to die. I'm, uh, I'm surprised we haven't run into any Alakazam. Maybe they felt that it would be mean to throw Evolve Evolutions at the player? Why are you healing the Psychic type against the Dark type? You are a fool. And you didn't even get to have a move. You are a fool who deserves everything bad ever happening to you. And you're gonna send out Electrode! Actually, I think I have a move for that. Hey, Shane! 
Time to use Earthquake. Oh, hello, Electrode. You're gonna explode Earthquake. Bye bye. How's that feel, jerk? Oh, you're gonna have send out a shift tree? You can send out a shift tree? Who do I have that has uh, moves against you? You. Nickel, time for revenge. Scream all you want, crotch man. You're still gonna die. Whatever you want, man, you're still gonna die. I trained every day with my family. Well, your family must be shit. Better than my family? Is that possible? And I found a full heal. That I'm probably never gonna use. No. Don't you tell me I have to use, sir. Uh, fucking... No. Okay. Wait. Alright, I'm m mildly confused. So that one waterfall was actually the way we were meant to go down? Or is there like a way... Yeah, the, from the looks of it, yeah, this place is a goddamn maze. But luckily you don't need waterfall to go... Like, up. Or like, go down waterfalls. Thank God for that. Thank God the game isn't mean about that, at least. Although, that does now mean that until I get to a loop-de-loop -loop point, I am stuck here. Why must all this place be a maze? I just want to fight all the trainers. Oh, you turned, bastard. Okay, no need to get, uh, get your back up. Relax, let's take it easy. You're lying to me, and I know it. You're going to die a painful death. Why must you exist? No, why do I keep going for bag when I mean Pokemon? Okay, I guess I'll just send Nickel out to fight you, I guess. Ha ha ha! Get fucked! Now die! You must be obliterated! You must be asphyxiated! And you're gonna send out an Absol. I think I'll keep Nickel in, just for the giggles. Once again, would have loved to use Absol myself, but sadly, Night Fang filled that slot in the team. Kill it before it uses Future Sight again! Why does it sound like Absol says uwu? My Pokemon are cosmically awe inspiring. Well, if you don't have Dioxys, I think you're full of shit. I forget what your shtick is. Bullshit. I remember now. Why must all these rocks be immune or like have resistance to psychic? Like maybe it's a psychic rock, but I don't dare. How dare you use psychic against me? That's my shtick. Quit ripping me off and die. No psychic rock. Why though? Why does a psychic rock no explosion? You know what, motherfucker? I'm sending. Wait, well, you probably don't have much. I'm gonna send Shane in. I would have sent in Zoom, but Zoom probably doesn't have much surf left. 
Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, all you want, you're still gonna die. Please don't explode. Okay, you put up a reflect, but don't use explosion. Please just lay down and die. At least I now also benefit from the surviving with like one HP shenanigans. I've never met anyone like you before. Of course, I'm the player character. Let's see, is there anybody that needs just a, some topping off? A few. Let's get rid of this fresh water. Because there was a guy saying, I was thirsty on top of the, the uh, convenience store. And then he didn't want any of the water I wanted to give him. How dare they homage like that one part of Pokemon diddly dee. Are you... A loop? A, a loop? Is this a loop? Is this a loop de doop? Are you telling me? Am I going to have to? Why is Protect in the game? It is just a waste of everyone's time. But yeah, from the looks of it, I'm going to probably have to use an escape rope to get out of here. Why is it a loop? Why is it a loop? You are an asshole and will die alone. Your Pokemon will leave you. I'm going to heal my Pokemon. That's my shtick. Quit stealing my shtick. No one's allowed to heal their Pokemon but me. No one. Sure, send in your Ludicolo. I'm sure they look ludicrous. Kill him. You bastard. How dare you keep Astonish on your Ludicolo? That's such a worthless move. And about to send in a Medicham, huh? Well, I'm gonna send in Night Fang, see? And then you're gonna die. You were better on Team Meanies when you couldn't make it through a... I used the wrong move because I am a fool. Oh, wait a minute. But you don't probably don't have any moves to use on Night Fang, do you? Just like the last one. Even though Bite isn't super effective against you, so it's... What does that do? Now, you're actually going to tell me that you actually have moves to use against me. I'm going to take that as no. You do not, and you're just constantly preparing because that's all you can do. That is hilarious. Your misery brings me joy. That's the way! I don't believe you. Alright, so... Ah, because I'm supposed to go down this way. Aha! Supposed to come down this way. It all looped around to the same point because it d didn't need to. Wait. Nope, no secret item. And we are free of the darkness. I, uh, the music that's playing is still pretty cool. Uh, especially this point. Kind of the fanfare. It's nice. I made it this far a couple of times, but the last stretch is so long. Is that a frickin' foreshadowing game? Are you laughing at my misery? Oh, hey, a cactern. I did capture a cacnea during a bit of a grinding back at the desert. I think it was nice. Once again, it was mostly a I didn't really have a open position on my team that I w wanted to give up for a Cacnea, because I wasn't really sure how good a Cacnea would be. 
for my team. And level up for Nightfang. Woot woot. You're about to use Plepper, then it's time for Striker to take stage. You do have a, a, a Thunderbolt still, right? We haven't used up our power points, have we? Because, uh... Why do you have all your power points? Oh, because the few times when we were using you at the beginning, it was early enough that we were able to go back and heal because we ran into Wally, yeah. So Striker is full on prepared to take on this place. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again, blah. My dreams ends here, just as they should. Because you only have two Pokemon. Who in their right mind comes this far with only two Pokemon? All right, let's go. Double battle, I guess, even though I probably should have taken you on one at a time. I have nothing to say to anyone that's come this far. Come on. What is the victory road? I'll tell you if you win. I probably should have taken them on one at a time instead of this double battle. Gardevoir and Slacking. Ha. Huh. Take down the Slacking. He's scary more. Critical head. Oh, Jesus. You have way too much health and defense. I almost died. Thank God he used Ice Beam on Striker. That would have nuked. Why? Oh no, that doesn't seem good at all. Wait, wait, wait. Who's whose turn are we on? Nickel. Kill, please, please, please annihilate. Jesus Christ. You! Well, at least I picked the right one to worry about. And we can basically keep the fucking guard of war here forever after we kill the slocking. Please die. Critical hit for me. Critical hit for me? No! Okay, not that bad. I think you're actually going to end soon. And now they're swapping skills back? Why? And we'll go ahead and Thunderbolt again. Because you should be dead, please. Good. Which should free you of your attraction and allow the one to come next to die. A Dusclops, huh? Blast that Dusclops to dust. D uh, why are you just using skill swap? I mean, if you want to do nothing the entire double battle, be my guest. I don't even know what skill you have. And level up for Nickel, huzzah. Like, seriously, what is your deal, Gardevoir? Why haven't you attacked anybody? You are an, you are be acting very weird, Gardevoir. Critical hit, huzzah! Nickel is just out here doing critical hits. And two critical hits on one turn for a Gardevoir? Wow. That is rude. Why, though? Just focus completely on damaging him. Her, I guess. Please don't die, Nickel. Okay, good. And yeah, just keep going. They're probably... Okay, they didn't use heals. They didn't use heals. 
If they die, they die. Thunderbolt critical hit, please. Just to confirm. Okay, good. It was it probably wasn't a critical hit, but it still died. I would have been a, very annoyed if it got to 1 HP and was healed. This is a disgrace. Okay, well done. Getting through here safely, that's the final test for any trainer aiming to become the Pokemon champion. That's why it's called the Victory Road. Can I leave now? Oh, that victory road was mildly painful. If only because of the flash section and how mean so many of the trainers were. Entering Pokemon League Center Gate. Huzzah. Of course, gonna heal up my Pokemon. Gonna go see if there's a shop where we can maybe buy more... Well, actually, we don't need repels anymore because I'll just wander around and level up my Pokemon for a bit on my own time. And there's nobody here, though. That's a little disconcerting. Hmm. I think uh, we have the money for max potions. Hmm. I will take some max potions then. Not that many. I don't think we'll need that many. I'll take 15 max potions. And we will stock up on hyper potions. There we go. And after th that victory road really ate up a bunch of time. So I think we will stop here and I will grind pretty decently to level up our Pokemon in preparation for the attack on the Elite Four. I don't know if there's any post-game to this game, but there might be. Hmm. But yeah, I think we did a lot. We at least began the end to the Team Aqua and Team Magma stuff. Groudon and Kyogre and Rayquaza are running about now, but... I don't know how to activate the beating them, so like they, that could be a post-game thing. Maybe I need to go back to the Weather Institute to begin capturing them. I do not know. But yeah, that's finished. They're no longer trying to destroy the world. And the two teams have basically gone, yeah, we were dumb and stupid. We quit now. We, Oh, well, we tried our best. But then we beat Juan, who continued the trend of the latter four gym leaders being vastly easier than the prior four gym leaders. And uh, Victory Road was a mixture of annoyance and difficult. Like, actual difficulty and annoying. I think it's mostly annoying because, like, again, there was no need for Flash to be a part of it. Flash did not need to be part of Victory Road. It just did not need to. <laughs> Love how Victory Road caused you to go on a full-on villain arc. It's mostly because of the annoyance over the HMs, the fact that Sableye randomly broke through the rappel for some reason, and that many of the trainers like Lol were gonna heal our Pokemon, and some of them just not making sense. They were just very mean. And also Wally coming in, being like, I didn't fight any criminal organizations, and now I'm just as strong as you. Wally. If he actually frickin' trained and wasn't a sickly little boy, he would be the main character of this game. His tr his starter Pokemon was a Ralts, for God's sake. He is the wannabe protagonist who failed because he was sick as a youngin. <laughs> Too late, the, pow the, the, the protagonist part had been filled by me. But yeah, still lots of fun, just minor annoyances here or there. But, yes, we will stop for now, because we've been going for three hours. I definitely need to grind to prepare for the Elite Four. I would not be surprised if the frickin' champion had level 60 Pokémon, honestly. And I do not want a repeat of what happened with Red in Pokémon Crystal and me coming out with just the skin of my teeth. Good Stram. Thank you very much. But, yes, next time, with probably, hopefully, stronger Pokémon, we will take on the Elite Four and the champion. But, until then, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have two... Uh, uh, I, meh, 
my brain is mixing up the words. I have two YouTube channels. One, an edited content YouTube channel that, I swear, content is coming soon, sometime, world is just being mean, called Neon Icy Wings, and then the streaming channel on YouTube, Neon Icy Games, where not only do I stream live, I also upload all the streams afterwards so they can be in one place for people to watch and just binge all of them if they want, like my Pokemon Yellow playthrough, Crystal playthrough, Blue Rescue Team, and then, like, Mass Effect Trilogy, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, Undertale, lots of games I've played in the past, all stored there on Neon Icy Games. And then, if you want other things from me, like art, similar to my little guy in the corner, you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Inkblot, just lots of places, and those links can be found in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings, as well as links to my writing and my Patreon, if you want to read my some stuff that I've written, and maybe throw some bucks my way to help me survive the evil of the universe. But, yes, thank you very much, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye, bye.